You know what would be really helpful is if I actually put the Discord in. Give me one second. Um, you know, the thing that we're using to get everyone's... Uh, everyone's thing. Yeah, that might actually help, you know, just just a thought. Can I please put it in the correct scene? Give me one second, chat. I'm... There. S uh, speak towards... Ah. Yeah, there we go, it works. Okay, good. Hello! <laughs> Welcome! Why can't I hear myself? Hold on. <laughs> Sounds good. Bamboozle. Uh, Welcome to that is the on new D and D campaign, the reclamation where we start out as we always do with, with scuff. scuff. <laughs> hey, we said <laughs> that right on time. Awesome. Okay, I fixed it. I can now hear myself. Hello. Welcome to the Untold Realms: The Reclamation, a completely new campaign that does not take place in the world of Galmora or Vestia or anything like that. This is Yasha's original creation. So. I'm just going to hand this over to him because I'm just the producer. I just make things look pretty. So, Yasha, you do your thing, my man. Yes. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, my world of darkness and suffering. <laughs> Good. I will introduce the players in just a second. A quick thing about the world. We are on the continent of Krasushka. The players mostly originate from... Was this the moment to clap for Yasha? Yes, that was the moment to clap for Yasha. Oh. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <Woo>! yeah. <laughs> I think 
think we should also clap for Briar because Briar is doing yeah. an awesome job. And even though it's just producer, it's still fucking awesome. I was gonna say just producer. Hello. <laughs> just producer me has eight programs open. My legs are shaking. I need like six pounds of weed just to be calm. I didn't mean just producer. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. YouTube. I, I do not. Now. I mean, not till April technically. True. It's not legal till April. In Minecraft. So, so, in, Minecraft. in Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft is a joke. <laughs> Tee -hee smiles. I need to do something. Uh, keep going, Yasha, anyway. Yes, most of the players originate from the country of Iriganor, currently controlled by vampiric royalty. Yasha, there can I ask been... you a question? Yes. The name of the country, is that in Elvish? Yes. Oh my hey. fucking god. How did I recognize Elvish? Fucking Elvish! And I can't <laughs> speak German? <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that's fucking Elvish. I know that ending consonant. But I can't speak German! <laughs> you, you, you're, you're starting. You've got a very oh. good start. You will get there. Oh god. I need to scream sure. for a second. How did I fucking know that? Oh god. Anyway, what was this going like, not to be swearing? Sent to the country of Eurynil, which in nowadays tongue almost sounds like a urinal. The vampires are very pissed about that because that's their old home. <laughs> and is currently being overrun by undead. Now, to the players. My father just yelled from downstairs. One second. <laughs> The scuff is real. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Got us up. Damn it. But it, that's just the yeah, way the street goes. Exactly. exactly. Oh, he just fed the cats and left the house. Okay. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Anyway, I'm just going to go top to bottom. We have Alex Ray. Hi. Hello, everyone. I am Alex Ray. Uh, I do VA stuff in art and. I will be playing as this lovely character here named uh, Moss Van Rosa. Uh, he is half elf or half fae. Yeah, half fairy. And uh, yeah, he's a sweet bean. A sweet little bean. He's also a druid. <laughs> yeah, he's also a druid. He does plant stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, the arch gremlin. Uh, we also have angels. <laughs> Who was yeah. already on the channel once before? Yeah, uh, several times actually, twice. <clears throat> um, True. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, hi, it's not the first time you've seen me. Won't be the last. I'll see you in your dreams later. Uh, I do funny things on YouTube. Uh, currently, uh, a Darkest Dungeon comic dub under, well, the same name, Angels of Purgatory. That's my YouTube channel. Uh. Yeah, I'll do some funny voice acting as well. Uh, and I'll be playing Alexander. He is a uh, he's a human. Uh, he's also a monk. Uh, specifically, uh, he's part of the clergy. He follows uh, the sun god named uh, Lorifar. That's why he's so tan tan. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. We also have also a returning member, also an art gremlin, Devs Kitty. Oh shit, I was I, th I thought I was going to be a private. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I was, but then I looked at the stream instead of the side chat, so uh Damn. order got fucked. Go through stream. <laughs> yeah. Uh hi, I'm I'm Devs Kitty. I I, I do art. Uh, I, I was in one of the, the campaigns before, but it was just a guest visit thing, but hell yeah, I'm back. And I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck some shit up. Um I'm I'm playing a character called Memphis. He is um, He's a lab rat <laughs> and a warlock. Yeah, that's uh, that, that, that that's what I'm gonna say about him. He's a scrumpy it's, little man. A scrunkly little man, hell yeah. Got a wet cat energy. <laughs> hell Mom, yeah. there's a weird the fucking one. cat outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Bampus. 
she's also the one who did basically all the art for this, apart from, I think, the background. That is Briar's work. Yeah, it's stream overlays hey. me, but she did literally everything else, and it's amazing. Thank you. We got legends here. <laughs> yeah. We also have a new member, one of my personal friends, Shikari Minigam. Uh, hello. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Minigamo. Uh, I I don't have YouTube stuff except for my band. I play guitar in a band called Bayoon. We do alternative rock. Um, and I'm a friend of Yasha. So I somehow got here and I'm very excited. I play a character named Chikari and he is a ranger with a lot of background knowledge of languages. Yes. We had to figure out just what languages he all knows, because holy fuck, he got languages from everything. Dude. What the fuck? So many languages, so little time. Yes. Basically. And last but not least, we have our lovely producer and uh, the person you saw in, I think you were in every single campaign. Yep. Green Prime. Who, uh, who's that? She sounds like a nerd. Mm, yeah. I know, it sounds like a <laughs> lovely little seal. Arf, arf. Seedy little guy. Yes, indeed. If you don't know who I am, I am indeed Briar. I've been with Untold Realms since the beginning. Uh, so is Yasha, but I've been in literally everything. So, <laughs> I run the stream. I make the overlays, and I make sure that we don't get demonetized. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. But yeah, I am playing 13, who is a paladin uh, loyal to the vampires. Uh, very much oh. Golden Retriever energy, but not... Well, maybe not Golden Retriever. I'm thinking maybe more like... Doberman? Uh, see, I'm thinking like German Shepherd or Malinois type energy. It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> she's spooky, but also off-duty. Puppy. It's just a little puppy. Just a little puppy. <laughs> I want to cuddle. I'm yeah. gonna adopt. Yeah. <laughs> a little goober. <laughs> she's just a little goober. Just a little silly. That's stinky, but yeah. <laughs> You'll learn more about thirteen as we get into get into things. Uh, it'll be fun. Hey, there's me. Yeah. And that's it for all the players. Uh, and then to me, myself, and I is me. He's Panda. I have been on this channel a couple of times as a player before. Uh, this is now the first time that I DM on this channel, or in general. Meaning there will also be scuff from my side, definitely. Please excuse if I do things wrong. Don't yell at me in chat or anywhere else. However, please let me know so I can fix. <laughs> no backseat gaming. No backseat damning. Yeah, no back backseat damning. We, we do mostly want to do this for a show, and, uh... Fun goes first. Hell yeah. There indeed, are indeed. also some home rules in my uh, DMing that I already looked at how other people do their stuff. And it's like, yeah, I like this more. So occasionally that will come up. Although not, not that much. It's usually HK stuff. But yeah. Do you guys want to get into it? Nah, I mean, that's kind of good time here, honestly. Yeah, all right, let's call this session. We're gonna, all going to go <laughs> the home. The 20-minute session, all 10, of, 10 of those minutes spent listening home. to music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that works. I think I the guitar again, so... Uh. All right. So, three of you are prisoners in this campaign. You start out as, for some reason or another, which you can reveal as your characters later on, you were thrown in prison. Some on death row, some on very long sentences. And you have heard of this way to potentially escape that sentence, to be pardoned. All you have to do is go into the completely undead infested country and uh, hopefully solve the undead infestation and survive that. Easy, easy. Yeah, pretty simple, I'd say. Totally hasn't taken the country, uh, what, in in canon of 300 years, and it still hasn't worked. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
All that being said, though, you three have taken this up as a potential thing. Um, you have all been transported to the final uh, final stop before it goes into the mountain range that is separating the two countries. Uh, would you like to... Actually, hold on. Would you like to talk to each other? There are a couple other prisoners. You've also been told that there will be some volunteers joining a little bit later. Are we like in a, in a cart or already in a... Um, the, there's two carts on the road, but you are currently waiting outside for the last two people to join. As you've been told, there will be two volunteers joining uh, probably in a couple minutes. Memphis will just be sort of sitting back, hands in his lap, looking at the others. So, so you guys also on on death sentence? Oh, you here voluntarily as well? Alexander um, will. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. You go first. All right. Alexander will turn to look at you, as then slowly walk over. Who in their god? Damn's right mind would volunteer to something like this. Look at that! <laughs> he points towards the mountain range. <laughs> That's scary as shit. Yeah, no shit. I I can see that. Yeah, it's um. I mean, it's 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 better than prison though. But yeah, I I I I don't know why people volunteer here. I uh, just want to get out. So, I have... prison. What about you, huh? He looks to uh, to uh, the, 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 the boss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, boss like kind of perks up when uh he notices these regards, and he says, "Oh, um, well, I I don't have a, any personal say on." why any normal person would ever want to volunteer but i mean i'm just joining for you know personal reasons uh but but i i'm sure it's gonna be great we're we're gonna do our best right right Go volunteer sure. it's gonna be great yeah uh, he I'm fixing it, give me a second. There it goes. You're fixed. Hell yeah. Uh, Yay. Ball. Hell yeah. No balls. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> My god. <laughs> yes, as you uh, turn your attention elsewhere, you can see not too far in the distance uh, a smaller current than the ones you have here uh starting to approach oh should we uh fully introduce our characters huh? should we fully introduce our characters the, the, the scriptures and such or uh should you yeah. wait until we're all around each other hey i'm gonna wait till the others are there. there you, go. you have like a short yeah. chance to react to the volunteers coming in, and then I'm going to get these two in. I mean, at least they don't have to walk. Guess Ooh. they're lucky. Lucky bastards. Lucky. Yeah, if I can kill someone if they don't give me my fucking cane. Sorry for. You need a Sorry. walking stick. Well. After a long while of walking, I'd really appreciate one. Um, but, you know, the guards are not that compliant. And 
uh, for the comfort of the prisoners. So it's, it's I'm gonna be fine. I mean, Ooh. yeah, we're prisoners. I'm pretty sure our suffering is what they enjoy the most. <laughs> yeah. You can hear a guard in the distance chuckle. Fuck you! And, and Macha's <laughs> gestures like, say, say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But with that, the cart now approaches to uh, and starts to uh, slow down to come to a standstill. Presumably to let people out. You can hear a bit of shuffling as more people turn and look, as there are indeed a couple other prisoners around you as well, who've kept mostly quiet. Um, and two people come out. One seemingly pretty heavily armored paladin, and a ranger. At this point, I would also like to. Well, what is fart that? noises. My brain just went out. Echo fart. Echo fart. <laughs> 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 this may happen a little bit more often whenever I try to concentrate. That can do. I mean, your brain just sounded like this. Yes, <laughs> my brain just went no. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck I was. You two are exiting the cart. Uh, what kind of cart is it? Is it covered? Is it uncovered? Is it like, hey you, you're finally awake type cart? What, what, what does it look like? Oh my God. Um, this one is mostly just a hey you, you're finally awake type nice. cart. <laughs> but this was also a pretty short ride. Like you were at a different location before and this took like an hour or two. Okay. Uh, 13 is going to... Not sh She's not showing off, but she just hops out of the cart and hits the ground and dust kind of kicks up around her armor and it's like, oh, that's that's heavy stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, enter, enter Shikari. Uh, he's just going to step out and looks around and just smiles. Oh, no. <laughs> Here comes the royalty. Here comes the shitty room. Mm. Moss is just staring like, is everyone going to be taller than me? <laughs> above we table? Kind yes. Of short. <laughs> yeah, What's above table, again? yes. <laughs> Where is the picture? <laughs> whoa, whoa. What was your height? <laughs> uh, I think like five foot two. Moss is oh, yes. the smallest. How, 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 yeah. how big yeah. is five foot two? Oh, I think... it's in the thing. Uh, Hold on. I got it. I got this. I'm smart. I can read uh, okay, okay, yeah, he's, he's, uh, yeah. Yep. Short. Yep. Yeah, Moss yep. is 150. A little, yeah. like, there's, a hair there's taller. There's one other figure that you were able to make out that is a l just a smidgen taller than you, but yeah, even they are taller than you. <laughs> uh, dang. Memphis will, will turn to one of the guards and be like, hey. Are we gonna go anywhere anytime soon, or are we just gonna, like, stay here forever? <laughs> oh, those two are arriving. They're gonna be told what the fuck's going on, and, and everyone gets on the cart. Uh, uh, with that, the cart that those two arrived in already starts to turn back and leave. <laughs> and a guard will... wave uh, the two volunteers over. Tell everyone, all right, get in line. Uh... 13 will uh, not necessarily march, but she will walk very soldierly over to the guard. <laughs> it's like she I... walks and it's very clear that she's a soldier. I don't want to she say she works my very here. regal. Regal, strong, mm. trained, trained. Yeah, she looks like clear. That. She is trained, and it's well done training too. You know, like that whole thing. You look at somebody in the mil in like the Marines, and it's just like, oh, oh, you've had your entire personality deconstructed and built back up to be a mindless killing machine. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <It's> that. <laughs> 
I mean, look at how you stand. <laughs> look at how you stand. Just walking no normally. normal person stands, stands like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> The prisoners slowly get in line. Uh, angels, you start to recognize a person from your past as well among the prisoners. That in in a little bit of the ruffle you didn't before. You hmm? recognize a cleric. Oh shit! Of your church. Oh shit! Julia. And yes, I made that person up. You weren't. It is up to you how closely knitted you are with her. I'm going to be honest. I'm not just inserting a character into your story and say this was your best childhood friend. <laughs> uh, too late. <laughs> now uh, it is. Too late, my Al son. <laughs> Al Alexander uh, runs up to her. Julia! Hey, back in line. They you can talk you. later. Gah. But you can see Julia perk up previously very slouch and having like a little bit of a hood over and she didn't want to be seen and julia is the other short person here five foot two she is similarly tanned as alexander uh, and she carries now that you've spoken to her she carries herself a little bit more of a little spring in her step I'll start writing down a little bit more water. Where the fuck are my notes? I should have my notes open during this, shouldn't I? It might help. <laughs> oh, probably. Yeah. I mean, I've, welcome, I've done a session fully winged DM. off, but like, you know, first session, you might want the notes. Yeah. Just, just my foot to a little bit of a spring in her step now that she has recognized you. Uh, she also has hazelnut eyes and brown hair. All right. And you'll remember that she was. Alongside you, one of the people sharing your belief of the vampires must go. Yeah. Which she presumably also got into prison for. <laughs> that tends to happen. Yeah, it just happens. <laughs> but as everyone gets in line, the two volunteers are now at the front. The guard says, all right, these two are coming with you. You all in the cars. Orly manner. I don't want more than... Hmm, how many are you? And he like looks over and like counts a little bit. Uh, That's 15 people. I don't want more than 8 people on one cart. <laughs> so, the first two people like start moving, going to the left cart. It, this, these are... Uh, roof carts, they're a little bit longer, but you can tell for, for fact they are not meant for comfort. They have a gate in the back that can be locked. They are meant to hold prisoners and transport. Hmm. Memphis will just start going to the nearest one. And 13 will... Yeah, do the, the guard the will also, once they start the moving, look at the volunteers and say, you can choose to be among with them. You can choose to be in the front. Although, don't... Don't mess with the driver, if you do. Shikara is going in the back to the um, prisoners. Yeah, Thirteen's gonna go with him. It's like, yeah, they're already gonna hate me. I'm not gonna make it worse. <laughs> Like, <laughs> same. Like, yeah, no. If I sit up there, they're gonna think I'm like with these guys. I'm not, mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna mm, go to the. I'm just gonna stick with the prisoners. A bonding a bit. Like, sure, <laughs> we'll call it bonding. <laughs> Trauma bonding. Just yeah, to be in the same cart. Uh, yeah. Uh, why not? Sure. <laughs> Ah, so we got both of the volunteers. How lucky us. What mindless thought brought you here? Honestly. Are you saying that out loud to us? Yeah. Okay. I... Well, I have my reasons. I need to... Yeah, fight some undead. Let's say this. Um, I... Yeah. Okay. I mean, everyone's got their reason, sure. What about you, uh, 
big guy. <laughs> Thirteen kind of looks over at you a little like big guy. Like she's a little confused. And these from behind this faceless mask, you could see these like gray eyes kind of shift, and they look at you. And she kind of looks you up and down. It was not a thought. It was an order. S some someone ordered you here. Yes. Okay. Uh. Do they? Are, are they? Some... Never mind. Sure. <laughs> Thirteen. Uh, she looks away for a second, and then she looks back at you. By the way, uh, it's not a guy. I am a woman. Oh. I mean, was moment. Does it? Person. Big person. Yeah, sure. Big girl? Lady? It's I don't know. a common misconception. The armor hides most of the identifying features. I mean, yeah, armor's supposed to be protective, not form-fitting and... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then she turns away and she just <laughs> stares directly ahead. Like that... <laughs> the, thing, <laughs> the thing that you do when you're dissociating, it's just like, ah... Uh, that corner looks lovely. <laughs> As you guys enter the cart, this is a cart where it's essentially two benches on the side and you are facing each other. Um, what did I say? How many people? Eight people? Uh, yep. Two more people enter the cart. You have a, a big burly dude that almost takes up two seats. He's that wide. Um, he, it is not strength, though. I'll say it in that way. <laughs> and, it. yeah, he white man. And on the other, and the opposite end of that is Julia. Having followed you here, Alexander. Yeah, uh, Alexander is, uh, busy making sure that, uh, she's okay. <clears throat> so, uh, when did you get caught? And, you know, after, after the incident at the bar where the guards arrested you, they, they just, searched the monastery again. But, are you, are they, they saw found... notes. Uh... It, it wasn't just me. Charles and Larry also got arrested from what I saw, but they got taken to a different prison. I don't... There might have been more. Fuck. God. Ah! He's a... just... grabs his head. Ah! Just... Fuck! I fucked it up! Do not fret, Alexander. We knew that what we did was dangerous. We knew what we signed up for. Just... <laughs> Just a simple mistake. Just fucking got too... <laughs> <laughs> the vampires are cunning. We knew they're, this. They're bastards. Thirteen's head kind of whips towards you just a little bit. She's watching you with narrowed eyes now. Oh, he looks nah. at you. Yeah, I'm talking about you too, bootlicker. She just tilts her head a little bit. And she looks almost confused at that term. <laughs> like, her, her eyes narrow, but it's not with malicious intent. It's more like, huh? Treasonous bastard. Alexandra, please. And now is not the time to make more enemies. With Lord Farno's side, we can get through this. I trust in him. And I trust in you. <clears throat> Yo, that bitch is dead. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. That bitch is gonna die. 10, oh. 20 bucks on the table, let's go. <laughs> Ain't nobody that talks like that comes out alive. 
My lips are sealed. <laughs> or, or... I know. I or... know. I know. Just. I thought if they just if they just got me, no one else. But no, you're right. You're right. Of course you are. <sighs> At least you're here. <laughs> At least we're here together. He sort of wraps a um, a arm around her shoulder and gives her a side hug. Keith. <laughs> just a little smooch on the forehead. Oh no, she's a cleric of the sun. She is celibate, no. Just, just a little smooch on the forehead, just a little, you know, just a little kissy. Damn. <laughs> she really took the vow of celibacy. Oh my god. I, I had a thought that I can't say on YouTube, so I'm just gonna say it to myself. <laughs> oh wait, we have side chat, that's what that shit's yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> no. That's why I can't say it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Chad. Yeah. You'll you'll just have to live with the knowledge that it's really funny. <laughs> Anywho. Oh my god. Uh. It was a burning sentence. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, Somewhere else. Fuck yeah. Um. With that, is there anything else you guys want to talk about of significance? Otherwise, Should I'm we going to physically describe um, our characters. Yes, that would probably be good. Yeah, might might help you just a bit. I, now that I you are sitting right in front of each other, yeah, I, I also keep have forgetting. A question where? That oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, where where is my boy? Because I don't think he got into the cart. Motherfucker! Uh, he said you all got into the cart. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my fairy in Christ! <laughs> I have the memory of a goldfish. Sue me. <laughs> okay. Every single one of you got into goldfish, the cart. The other cart got loaded as well. And as you guys are talking and during the conversation, you could hear some talking outside, and the carts did indeed indeed start moving towards the mountain range. Well, who wants to bite the bullet first? What did you say? I didn't wants, quite catch that. Who wants to bite the bullet first? Who describe characters? Going going by the stream order, probably you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it. Wow. <laughs> um, well, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, Alexander is a human. Uh, She's about 5'10", pretty, pretty lithe. Uh, his, uh, the muscles on show aren't uh, that of just raw strength. It's not, welcome to the gun show, gun show. here's my uh, fucking machine guns. Um, no, uh, his muscles are from a light diet and uh, a lot, a lot of acrobatics and yoga. Uh, which he uh, usually performs in the sun as a sort of prayer to his god, uh, Urfar. Uh, he is of the clergy, he is of the church, uh, but he has not been blessed like others who have been bestowed magic. Instead, he has had to hone in on his own body instead. Uh... He has long black hair, uh, braided, made to keep uh, shorter, <laughs> uh, as well as a general walking stick. Uh, other than that, his equipment is very, very light. Uh, he does not carry much on him at all. Simple clothing, uh, leather vest, a white shirt tucked away somewhere, uh, some leather braces. Simple pants, easy to move in. And well, right now his usual usual uh, cocky 
uh, demeanor is one of uh, terrified for his own life and Julius. Oh no. Helene. Next in line would be Kitty. Uh, yeah, M Memphis is... He's a tall humanoid. No, not, not tall. Never mind. Lithe, thin, beanpole of a man. <laughs> um, with, like, I guess dirty blonde hair and a, and a very, very dirtied up, like, white lab coat. So it's not really white anymore. It's more like beige or something. <laughs> so, like, properly dirty, but, you know, probably from sleeping on the floor, prison. Prison stuff, you know. Um, you would have bunk beds in prison. They're not that cruel. I mean, okay. But hey, but listen. It's, sometimes it's probably sleeping not dirty, on the ground. Right? It's nice. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta curl up in a corner and cry. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why is that? But yeah. Um. Yeah. He's he's. Not too pretty. He's he's got like a little cleft in his lip, a uh, few small scars over his hands, invisible skin. Um. I mean, yeah, he, he's he's mostly quiet. He's got a tiny bit of a mustache, or like s scruff. Is that the word? Yes, scruff. Yeah, a bit, bit of scruff going on. But it's clear he cannot grow a beard. It's like just his mustache that is actually growing in. Um, yeah, just doesn't doesn't look taken care of at all. Very, very dirty cat. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's quiet, keeps to himself, sort of standoffish, maybe. Yeah. All right. Next up in line is Moss. Alex. Hey, hello. Um, so Moss, he is just a just a little little guy. Uh, he he's wearing like what looks to be like normal casual traveling clothes. Like he's got them hiking boots, uh, trousers, and like a simple blouse with um a very it, it's like a really old ragged cloak around him and also a corset um what else oh he's got a uh, really really pretty eyes which are let's see blue like a very very pretty blue and he's got ivory green long hair pulled up in a high ponytail um and what else he he like with his getup, he looks like he's pretty good uh, to travel in, like he knows what to wear. Um, an interesting thing, with his corset at the back of it, um, you don't see his wings, even though he's a fairy. But if you look closer, at the back of his corset seems to like have like a long uh, pocket thing. That seems to keep his wings closed in like this, in the side chat, as an example. Yeah. So, with, without even noticing he has wings, just like the whole look of it, he looks like an elf. <laughs> he looks like but, an elf, uh, but even more uh, dainty. Than rather one. short <laughs> for an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Does 13 actually say that? Oh, fuck no. She doesn't talk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. He was gonna say <laughs> No. Um. Uh, but yeah. Um. Without his corset, though, uh, his wings are a very bright uh, fluorescent blue wings, like butterflies. It and they kind they kind of sparkle a little. It's pretty. But yeah, that's how he looks like. That's my boy. Oh no. Shikari, mini gumbo. Do you want to yeah. introduce your character? Enter Shikari. Here's a Kalashta. Um he has white 
hair like a side cut and is dressed in black. Um, he also has marks slash tattoos on his both his arms and on his right side of the neck. He's a pretty lively character, I would say. Um, yeah. And yeah, I don't know <laughs> how much to say. Yeah. All right, that is more than enough. A 13, Briar. Yeah. Um, 13 is definitely intimidating. Um, kind of the most notable thing about her is that she wears this white mask that makes her essentially faceless, only with um, the eyes that are uncovered. And she has a uh, very nice light gray eyes. She has uh, extremely poofy brown curly hair that is streaked with gray from stress and other bullshit. Um, she wears this white hood and her armor is this casual, like, iron, steel. I don't know what people make plate out armor out of. Somebody else help me out with that. It's, it's the metal that they make plate, out or plate armor out of with um, red underclothing to pad it out. Um, she has, in the center of her armor, she has this little crest. Um, and it's the crest of the family that she served before volunteering. And that's pretty much all anybody can see at the moment. Yep. A quick note as well. The two volunteers do have their full equipment, meaning their weaponry as well. Oh, then I have a but... giant ass greatsword on my back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, then I have two swords. <laughs> two short yeah. swords. Yeah, two and a, a bow with arrows. And on the other hand, the prisoners do not. <laughs> you we guys are going to get chair. your gear a little bit later. <laughs> but you're currently not being trusted with that. I don't have a okay. weapon, I just have my walking stick. It's a walking stick. And your fists. Nothing else. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Damn, you got your walking stick and I don't get my cane. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's just a stick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a game with a stick. <laughs> I mean, if you poke people in the eye with a stick, you still poke them in the eye. I could do that with my hand. <laughs> if that is everything for characters and what you guys want to do on the cart in terms of interactions. I will uh, time skip the journey up the mountains because apart from it getting more windy and at some point also snowy, not much is happening. Um, but after about a day's travel, like you, you were there early, dead early in the morning. The drivers had to stop like twice to feed the horses, and that's about it. Uh, very late in the evening, you arrive in front of what seems to be a gigantic wall. You cannot yet see the fortress itself. Um, that will come in view as you turn the corner of the next mountain. But for now, like through, through the little side windows that are... Uh, with iron bars, you can see just a badass wall stretching as far as the mountains allow. Memphis will have probably like lightly leaned into the person beside them because fucking cold <laughs> <laughs> and just. More looking at the people around him rather than outside, because like, people people on death sentence are dangerous, and yeah. But not you. No, of course not. I'm 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 an angel. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. Like I believe dolphins can fly through the air and sing "Mamma Mia." 
<laughs> funny. They you cannot. Say. Yeah. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte, I hate to break it to you. <laughs> hey, 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 they can throw balls into faces from children. I they know that's first said, okay? terrifying things. <laughs> Anywho, um... Alright. What are we doing? As you turn, as the car turns to talk, the corner, um, into view comes the entrance of our fart noises and brain comes... Uh -huh. Into view comes the entrance of a fortress. Considering that the card is indeed uh, about to enter the fortress, you can safely assume that this is your next stop. Again, I should be looking at my notes when I am reading. <laughs> when I'm, I had enough time to prepare this. Um, this is Kangula. You have been told that before. You know for a fact above ground is only a portion of the fortress. However, this seems to be a very heavily fortified and also heavily staffed fortress. Like you can see guards on the walls, you can see guards at the entrance. You can, as the card goes through the entrance and into the arrival hall right behind it, you can see guards at every door, very much knowing that, hey, today is the day that the prisoners are coming. Mm -hmm. And as the cart, your cart comes to a stop, the next cart behind you drives up next to you as well, also comes to a stop. You can hear uh, some very heavy footsteps approach the cart and uh, unlock the back. It seems just running off is not an option at the moment. Just I looking at the guards. I wouldn't suggest it. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. With that, the door opens and everyone in the cart is faced with not exactly the same kind of armor that 13 is wearing but you can very clearly tell this is of similar make but with a different crest they're not they're not wearing a faceplate but the metal and its work is from the same craftsman and for the same craftsmanship but i'll not fully plate male armor uh, fully is it plate mail? Plate? Yes. Yeah, she's wearing fully plate. plate mail. Yeah, full plate made armor. Plate, plate made, yes. Plate made. Rain, <laughs> fart <laughs> noises. <laughs> <laughs> More. <laughs> Echo fart. <laughs> <laughs> full plate mail armor. You can see on the hip a, a long sword. You can see poking out from the back a spear. All right. Get out. Get in line on that wall and like he looks at at a list that he pulls out from his bag looks at you all and is like oh oh well, this is the one with the two volunteers in the back it, also on the wall for now but we'll 13 will that. nod to the guard like respectfully and then she will do exactly as he said shikari just follows the orders and be like okay Memphis very, very begrudgingly goes to the wall and just sort of leans against it, crossing his arms, not happy at all. Uh, Moss is gonna just like, like groan in exhaustion, like, ugh, bye, and, and just like, <laughs> just like, like, reluctantly walk out, and instead of, instead of like facing the, like, instead of leaning against the wall or anything, he just like, Face plants his his forehead against the wall in frustration. Um. <laughs> Alexander tries not to shiver in the cold as he walks over to the wall. I look at Mask and be like, "Are you okay there?" Mask just glances glances back at you before like hitting his forehead against the wall again and says, "Define okay." <laughs> It well, you just fucked. 
<laughs> well, I mean, you hit your head on the wall. That is mostly an indication of not being okay. Uh, he just like raises raises his hand and with like pointing one finger after another he he goes i'm not bleeding i'm not screaming in pain i am not in agony we're good if you say so great <laughs> <laughs> julia also very closely keeps to alexander for now yeah <clears throat> everyone goes this to the wall that the guard pointed at and you can see the guard himself is walking to the next card repeating the same progress unlocking uh, the locks on the back where's alexander standing in like relation to 13. great question he's probably not standing too close to you neither neither you or um or our <laughs> their other traitor uh, shikari <laughs> yeah but like could i like lean and reach my arm out and be able to like get kind of close to you not, not not like you know i don't want to stick my finger up your nose or anything but i i have an idea uh he's probably yeah i mean he's probably like three people okay three or two people between you her eyes kind of watch you for a second especially how you react to the cold and she she thinks for a second and she's like yeah fuck it why not and she'll remove the cape the like hooded cape from her armor set and she'll lean over and offer it to you Aww. he um he, he he looks at it he looks at you he looks at Julia. How is Julia handling the cold? Um, Julia is surprisingly handling it a little better than most here. But you can also tell that her hand is glowing just a little bit. <laughs> nice. Smart. Yeah. Uh, if that's the case, then uh, he just looks at you, doesn't reach for it before he just goes back to looking straight ahead take a by the way breath. you know for a fact she's not currently wearing her spell casting focus hmm so she right. is straight up channeling a little bit of power without it all right so is that a no or yes that's very he's very much ignoring your offer okay <laughs> she'll pull it back and just put it back on like oh, well i tried she kind of just says, uh, "Oh, sorry, here you go." She kind of just like has question marks around his head, like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> You'll I live. I <laughs> like that was a very nice gesture. Are you shivering? For... Is, is Memphis is Memphis shivering? He's he's like minutely. It, he's trying very hard to repress it. She looks at you for a second uh, after you said something and then she'll offer throw. it to you. <laughs> do me a constitution Wait. save to see just how well you're hiding it. Oh, nice! <laughs> okay. Okay. First roll of the game, guys. Hey! 18! Oh, oh, 18, you are hiding it very well. You can te tell that maybe you're a little bit uncomfortable, but you could not tell why. Memphis just looks pissed. So it's like, maybe he's just pissed? Like a cat that's really cold in the wintertime? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just she she looks there. at you for a second, then she looks at her her cloak, and then she just, like, offers it to you. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> say anything. <laughs> Memphis sort of looks at it, looks away for a second, and then he, he takes it and says, like, a quiet th thank you. Very much yeah you, you can't see her expression because of the mask but she just like her eyes look a little happier she's like oh yeah <laughs> nice <Aww. laughs> i'm making friends <laughs> <laughs> they probably all hate me but i can make one friend hell yeah in the meantime the other prisoners are um let out of their card and also join you guys at the wall lining up uh towards the outside 
and the guard closed the doors again. And you can see Ori shuffling behind the cards as the horses are led away from, from the cards, uh, led into what seems to be a little bit of a warm animal pen. They're getting out new horses, the guards are going off, new guards are taking their place, and they're getting ready to already get the cards back. Yeah. They're not going to be doing it immediately, but you're able to tell they are preparing for these cars to leave this night. Well, guess some people doesn't want to be here. I mean, it's very understandable. Who would I don't know what you're talking about. Here? I want to be here. I volunteered. Yeah, because you're fucking... What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Noble? No. I just... Yeah. As I, I have my reasons, as I said before. Yeah, I, cool. I uh, studied undead as to hunt them, so I'm here to hunt undead. Oh, so if you're a scholar as well? Scholar. I, oh, so you I wouldn't perfect. say. I wouldn't say I'm a scholar. I'm more like a ranger, yeah. and was like. Home in the woods and guide people through the woods and encountered uh, things that I don't want to happen to other people. Oh, well, so if you hate the undead, this, yeah. Yeah. if you hate the undead, we're going to be best friends. Oh, cool. That's nice. Yeah. Right. As everyone has now indeed been uh, put to the wall, um, the guard like, will say, All right. A couple of things while you're here. You won't be here for long, but you still gotta follow the rules. We'll go inside in just a second. You'll meet the captain. You will eat, you will sleep, and tomorrow will be an exam. We will only send out the people actually capable of fighting, and nobody else. Everyone else gets... And, like, he looks at the list... Yeah, everyone else was. Everyone here is either on death sentence or on life sentence. But the captain will tell you the details, and he yes. will point to one of the doors, like on the opposite of the entrance, uh, the where the cards came through, and a guard will open the door. Get in. Line up in two rows in front of the stage. The captain will be with you in a second. And you can see a couple guards like closing in on like the tail end of the prisoners. Do you guys start walking? Yes. 13 immediately yes. starts walking. All right. With the prisoners walking, getting up to the stage. Yeah. Um. You guys still want to just all be side by side? All right. I mean, thirteen's gonna stick near Memphis because Memphis has her cloak. So <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> she's being she nice. She's not giving it to you. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shikari tries to get uh, into the two part of the row with Alexander because he said we will understand each other, and he just believes that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, yeah. Alexander being a petty bitch already, I love it. <laughs> he stand. <laughs> All right. With that, the group arrives together with the other prisoners at in front of the stage. You can notice behind you all the guards that were that almost all the guards that were standing outside. Like being ready for your arrival, also go through the door, close the door behind them, and like fan out a little bit around the courtyard. Uh, it's like a Which... teacher on Pepper Alley Day. They all fan <laughs> out to make sure no one's smoking weed. Yes. <laughs> My god. <laughs> do um... they think we're gonna do fucking like fight them? We don't even have a chance. I think I... you're going to run. 
Or kill yourself. I mean... Yeah. Fair. <laughs> and with that, you see, like, two two figures to the side. The guard that had the list before. And another figure. Also a very wide and tall man. But this time not... Not like the guy that was sitting in your car, just Enough wide fit. without muscle. This guy is built like four for God of War. Oh, oh hell oh, yes! <laughs> and you can tell... I will to seduce! To... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this man is also not wearing anything, like, top. He is shirtless. In the cold, <laughs> not shirtless. Oh, man. Memphis will stare slightly. So will 13, but probably not for the same reasons. <laughs> you may not kind of check. Both of us are oh, just God. Memphis. If you're staring at him, like looking at him, trying to like examine him any sort of way, do me an arcana check. Okay, you're getting an arcana Hell check. Hell yeah. Jesus Christ. How the fuck did I get a 19? <laughs> she has a lot of yeah. zero. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense. Zero, what the fuck? <laughs> I, ge I guess it Hi, makes Rose. sense. Like. Uh, she knows guards and shit, sure, why not? Memphis, you sadly do not know this. 13, you very much notice a symbol on his chest that you know is meant for very high-level soldiers and warriors of vampire kind. This is a symbol, this is, not, this is a mark of constitution and allows him to there's a little bit more mechanic, allows him to use his constitution in a lot of places where dexterity would be used. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh, 13, like, kind of gasps just a little bit. She's like, oh. Amazing. <laughs> like, damn, that bitch is everything I want to be. <laughs> Give me his autograph. <laughs> uh, it's very much like a kid seeing a pop star for the first time. It's like, oh. Oh. Struck. Yes, you immediately know this is one of the elite. Like this is this is high ranking shit. I'm trained not to, but man, I want to jump around. I'm giddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, I'm in this guy's presence. That's cool as shit. You're ruining my tough my tough guy persona. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh my god. With that though. The uh, large dude indeed takes the list. You can hear like a little bit of conversation and he's going, all right. And the guard that greeted you and like got you out of your carts uh, walks away, leaves the scene and a large guy enters the stage, the, the little stage in front of you. All right. He told me he counted, but he told me he also didn't check for names. And you can see him looking at the list. And he will call up every single one of you. Plus every single one of the other prisoners. Do you guys want me to go through that or? I mean, I'm cool with it. I want to know what happens. Uh, yeah. Uh, um. I should have had a list of the names of the other prisoners, but I don't. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to go through all the prisoners. You can just go through us. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to skip the other non-named <laughs> prisoners and, and go, okay. Mm, Memphis. Yep. That one. Okay, right. You're a prisoner. Why do you wear the garbs of a soldier? 13 raises her hand. Uh, you are... And he looks... Oh, you're one of the volunteers. 13, shall we go family? Yeah, okay. Memphis just sort of looks at her slightly. A bit questioning at 13. Number? No name? Okay. Do you say that? He, he sort of mumbles under his breath. Like, no, no name? But nothing else. Mm. 
And with that, also he will say, you are 13, right? Yes, sir. All right, good. Uh, the both over here. Moss. Uh, Moss kind of like waves his hand like, here. <laughs> you can see him looking at you, squinting his eyes a little bit. Oh, had to be a head weirder ones. Uh, <laughs> Alexander. What's it to you? All right, you're not getting food today. Julia. Yes. All right. Uh, and uh, uh, 13 we already had. Shikari. Shikari is raising his hand. Yes, sir. All right. I like that. Damn. All right. Sure you 13 do. said it to it. She didn't get it. I like that. How could this happen to me? <laughs> All right. Not including the two volunteers, you all are here because you were on death row or similar in the prison, and you have indeed taken up the offer for a possible pardon as long as you uh, solve the undead problem on the other side of this mountain range. You're all going to be given one night's of food, one night's of rest. Tomorrow you will be given your gear and an examination. As the guard already told me that he told you, we only let those people try that are actually capable. Everyone else doesn't. And he will look again at the list. We have all your personal belongings that you requested. Apart from you, Karen, we did not bring your two bags of makeup. No. <laughs> and you can see another female prisoner just like try and raise her voice, and he just stares at her. She's like, mm -hmm. no. and you can hear like his. Disappointed, scared female grumbling. Disappointed, scared female grumbling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, for the other two the volunteers, thank you for being here. Your service was very much appreciated. You obviously have your gear as you brought it yourself. If you need anything specific, that will also be supplied as well as general adventuring gear and a little bit of rations. You are free to either go to the soldiers' bunks or to their bunks. Everyone else obviously goes in the soldiers' and everyone else obviously goes in the prisoner bunks. And you see him flip through it again. Memphis All right. Again, quite mildly, I hope the mattresses are fucking anything other than those in the prison. All right. The canteen is over there. You will be always guarded by, by guards. They will watch you while you sleep. We are not letting people escape, not again. And we will talk to each other again tomorrow. And with that, he w turns around and ho walks away. And you see a couple of guards making way towards where he pointed was the canteen. And a couple other prisoners already like, oh, food! And try and make a dash. Memphis will take off the cloak and give it back to Thirteen. Um, thanks. Yeah, really appreciate it. Thirteen I'm, I'm guessing respectfully bows it, her head to him and takes the cloak back. He will awkwardly also do like a head bow. <laughs> <laughs> and then slowly walk towards the canteen. He, he's not running. Nah. <laughs> Fuck, where would 13 go? That's a good question. 
Um, she's probably going to go to wherever she decides to sleep and put her stuff down before going to the canteen. Um, as you look around and like try and approach, I'm guessing you're going to approach one of the guards first because he didn't show where it was. Sure, yeah, I'll do that. I'll approach one of the guards. Mm, I'll volunteer. What do you want? Uh, just trying to figure out exactly where I should sleep. I'd like to get my armor off. You gonna sleep on the prisoners, or do you want to go to the soldier bank bunks? <sighs> Which one will decide not to kill me? That's the question. <laughs> We know better than to try and work against the council and their orders. The prisoners haven't tried anything for the past half a year, but then again, half a year ago, we had an incident. Oh, well, a few of them seem spirited, and she's going to look in the direction of wherever Alexander was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably is going towards the canteen with you, Leo. <laughs> He's going yeah, to the canteen he can't eat time. from. <laughs> yeah, so? <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, I like... He can try, I mean. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Um, 13 kind of um, leans into the guard a little bit. She's like, all right, between you and me, who has the worst blankets? Ah. <laughs> uh. Honestly, some of us sl sleep in the prisoner bunks occasionally, when they're not used. <laughs> they're only here for a night. Uh, well, I guess I'll sleep there then. Hard to sleep with terrible blankets, I'm sure you understand. Oh, I know. She she gives him a, not quite a salute, but it's, it's like a just... A gesture of camaraderie, I guess. And, uh... He will return it. Even though from a completely different family, he understands. Nice. Uh, and then she's gonna go find the prisoner bunks. Which I'm sure some of them went that way, so I can follow them? Um... Everyone went to the canteen, but uh, he, he will tell you where the prisoner bunks are. Nice. He will also say... We can take your gear to the soldier bunks if you rather want, and you can have it back tomorrow. Uh, sure, but I'd uh, I'd like to keep this with me. And she she taps her um her mask and her cloak. Completely up to you. You get preferred treatment there. You're a bit not a visitor, a volunteer. <laughs> I mean, everyone is a visitor only here for a day. <laughs> she shrugs. Oh, well. Just doing my duty. And then she'll... She'll remove the plate armor bits, leaving her in just, like, that... That red shirt and darker, darker red pants, and she'll... Take all that off, and then she'll head towards the canteen. All right. The guard will uh, take your things and bring it to a door. Nice. All right, then and I'm going to presume are going to be the soldier bunks. Yeah. Did you notice they are immediately next to the entrance? Uh, not to the end. Yeah, to the where you came out of when you got into the place. Gotcha. Okay. Alright, well, I'll head to the canteen and I'll uh, snag up some food. Does anybody else talk to the guards, or does everyone just head into the canteen? I'm or heading into the canteen. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna he uh, head to the canteen. You head into the canteen. Um, this is very much just the regular canteen that also the soldiers use. You can tell a couple soldiers in the back are also using it. But uh, you are indeed being corralled by more guards that make sure that you don't go into the other section, essentially. Oh boy. And there is uh, two decently sized tables 
completely empty of guards. You have occasionally okay, guards sitting here and there, apart from those two tables. And everyone is being corralled to essentially a counter that you would know from like the food bank, similar, where there's a pot in the back or a couple pots in the back. There are some bowls that are being handed out. And um, the prisoners that made a dash for it are already being handed their stuff. Everyone else kind of got into line. I get in line. I'm going to go get food. A hungry. A hungry <laughs> little food. gremlin. Get food. Get, food. get soup. <laughs> soup. Everyone's hungry, and it's it's probably warm food as well, so like... Yes, you yeah. can tell. The pots are still steaming. Oh, um, now I'm hungry. It is soup. Specifically, uh, potato soup. Mm. With some Delicious. not necessarily def like identifiable vegetables. Oh. I haven't had a warm Sounds meal like in like 19 years. <laughs> might, might be I mean, carrots, might be uh, something else that grows in the deep, who knows. <laughs> and you can hear one of the guards saying, <laughs> hope you like the woman. The hope what? we like the what? Hope, hope you like dwarven meals. A dwarven, okay. I thought you said the woven, and I'm like, did you mean the to say woven. oven? <laughs> I hope you like the oven froze you in. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, as the land progresses, one of the guards will uh, indeed grab your shoulder, Alexander. He's just sitting there without any food. Oh, you're all, you already sat down? You didn't get in line? Yeah, he just sits there. All right, never mind. Then you are already set. You can, <laughs> no, you can tell still Julia comes over was... checks him. <laughs> Clonk. <laughs> no, I'll fight you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they win. Round two. <laughs> I'd at least take one down with me. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking. Uh, you, you can tell Julia was hesitant to leave you behind, but she was also hungry. So uh, she did indeed also get online. Yeah. And one after another, you guys start getting a bowl with uh, fresh and Ooh. steaming soup, potato soup. Nope. You're also getting a wooden spoon that seems to be uh, more or less worn down, but it's soup. I mean. I guess I get the soup, and I'm gonna go sit down. Not mm. near Alexander, because I'm not looking to get punched today. <laughs> <laughs> but pro probably at the same long table, just not near him. A smart move. <laughs> <laughs> I could easily take you, however, I'm also not an idiot. <laughs> I mean, you probably have the guards on your side, so... I mean, yeah, but they'd let me get a few licks in first. <laughs> uh, no, the one we want rule. Probably Alexander probably sits there and he's humming a uh, humming a heim. <laughs> Him. There we go. That's the right one. Uh, while he's how does for... this sound? Can you do this? Uh. <sighs> hmm. Well, it's just humming. Uh. I hope that picked it up. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Woo! Clap, 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 clap. Yeah. Nice one. Thank clap, you. Clap. Yeah, he's just sitting and waiting for Julio. Uh, 
And Fist will sit down at a not awkward distance to 13. It's like not as close as to be like, yeah, we're friends, but also not as far apart as that another person could comfortably fit in between. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're really pulling out all the, uh, the high school stops here. <laughs> of yeah. course! Why wouldn't we? <laughs> 13 just, like, raises her drink to you a little bit. It's like He will raise his bowl of soup. He didn't get anything to drink. <laughs> <laughs> so... Shikara's just gonna sit at the table with a bowl of soup. So... Fucking tryouts, of all things, huh? Can we hear him from how far away we are? Um, depends how far away did you seat yourself. Good point! Uh, the canteen is not too filled apart from you guys, and... Most of the prisoners are eating their meals silently. You can hear a couple of guards going like, oh, man, fucking dwarves again, raising their fucking shit. Uh, a couple like, are commenting on the new prisoners. Probably like a meter and a half away from him, maybe? Yeah. Oh, you can hear him. You, okay, cool. Depending on whether or not you were paying attention, you may not have picked up like the first few words, but you can hear him. Yeah, I probably just heard his voice and decided to focus on it, rather than like, oh, I hear literally everything you're talking about. It's more like, oh, hey, it's the loud one's voice. I want to hear what he has to say. <laughs> yeah. You'd, you'd think they just send anyone and anyone. Anyone and everyone if they want their goddamn yeah, our original kingdoms back. Why do they care about gone... being... Hmm? Sorry, go on. I mean, why the fuck do they care about competent people going in? It's basically yeah, just it's Death Sentence version 2. I mean, it's a saying that you should not fear the competent enemy, but the incompetent teammate. Basically that, I mean, they're gonna give us stuff. So if they give stuff to every fucking weirdo um they're gonna run out of stuff pretty soon you know it's our stuff they're, they're giving back they did say they would provide us with some things at least oh did they oh, yeah i think so i'm, I'm not, food? not quite sure i mean yeah food no the captain did say you would be getting gear, and the volunteers would at least be getting food or any like small item they request. Hmm. So, so Moss. Moss perks up when he hears his name. He sort of leans. I don't know where you're sitting, but he sort of leans on the table to get a better look at you. Uh. I'm gonna say he's like sitting on like the opposite side from where you're sitting, but at the like, not at the very end of the table, but like near that area. If that makes sense. Yeah. He, so he looks down the, the table. <laughs> so, Moss, what would you bring if you could bring one thing and one thing only? He. Oh, God, like we're anything. doing the deserted island talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Especially considering uh, what the fuck we're marching into. Uh, he kind of pauses at this question and thinks for a moment. Well, if I'm being honest, hmm. If I could bring one thing, I would probably just bring myself. <laughs> as selfish as that sounds. I am pretty capable to live on my own. Uh, besides, you know, getting captured and all. So, in the situation that we're gonna go into, you'd bring yourself. He, he kind of Not... gives like a... <laughs> he 
he, he kind of gives like a like a <laughs> cheeky grin and nods like uh like gives like a a very happy nod not anything like <laughs> holy water do I you look religious to you? you water? What can't you do with holy water? I mean, what can you do with holy water, honestly? It's holy water. Do you... You can drink it? No. You, you can, can splash it, it on at people enemy. to annoy them? Yes. Except in this case, it hurts. I mean, if it gets in the eye, sure. Yeah, but, but you can easily do that, that if you spit in their People like you and me. I'm talking about the goddamn undead. Holy water Don't... usually burns the undead. Harshly. Oh. You <laughs> get it. So what if you get attacked by something that's not undead? You punch it. Or at you least just, I do. You just punch it. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think I, I got mean, into this situation? With your fist and not a weapon. What yeah. if it bites you while you punch? I have tough skin. He sort of, uh, he sort of, uh, uh, how, so the table is very heavy, I assume, right? Yes, these are heavy tables. They're not necessarily made of, like, super high quality wood. No, no. But you can tell that they just almost put a lock in the fucking room and that's it yeah no no uh alexander just uh places uh, a hand on the table and then uh lifts himself up only using that so he's like um you're doing like boy. a one-armed handstand sort of it's Damn, less boy. uh it's less Damn. um oh, how do i describe it He's using uh, the arm and the elbow to sort of lean on it uh, with his full body weight so he can balance himself a little bit. Is there an athletics check? It's not, not, not acrobatics. <laughs> uh, sure. Go with <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you do that easily. Oh. Not so, even a fucking sweat. Yeah, uh, so... <laughs> God he, damn it! He does this, and he says, You know, the ground at the uh, temple isn't all that nice, so imagine doing this several times a day. And, uh, he slowly sets himself back down. So yeah, nice. I have pretty tough skin. Shikaru's like as you do, uh, you can see several guards staring at you and having their, their hands <laughs> on their hilts. What? <laughs> she jar she carries moth just dropped and he's like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> but I do handstands on the regular. Do you know how fun it is to jump between buildings? Hell no, but I want to try. And this it's is the reason why the guards are here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, parkour. There's nothing like it. It's just dangerous running about. Yes. It's exactly why it's so great. You like the thrill? It is easy to throw off people running after you. I mean, fair. Yeah. I... I... You can you can I climb through Julia trees next to him. Is that something? He's done that a lot. <laughs> yeah, climbing being trees. Being able is to fun throw too. someone off is pretty big ability. Good ability. From where I come, there weren't so many buildings, more like trees and forests. So I didn't have the chance, but it sounds interesting. Maybe yeah. after this. Mission here, I will try this. Yeah, if we fucking survive. I, I wouldn't have volunteered if I'm believing that I die. Let me ask y'all a question. Everyone. 
Have you heard anyone come back for something like this? I mean, anyone. This is the first time for everything. Yeah. So, you know, real big chance we're gonna all make it out of this alive. The power of friendship prevails all, except a horde of <laughs> undead zombies. I never said we're all gonna make it. Oh, so you just want to make it out alone. I see. <laughs> That's not what I said. That's exactly what you said. Uh -huh. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get rid of these nasty undeads. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. You and me both. You see Julia trying to slide you some food, but one of the guards, like, steps in between the two of you and just slides it back. Dang. It's Memphis fine. will glare at the guard. It's fine, Julia. <laughs> Not the first I've been without food. I'll be fine. I know, but a day before a fight? Ah. I'll Did still hit us hard. Did they have bread with the soup, or was it just soup? It was just the soup. Damn, okay. You are getting the bare minimum. <laughs> Do the volunteers have bread? Uh, did either of the two volunteers ask for bread? I mean, I asked for a drink. You Damn would have it. gotten water. Yeah, that, that's fine. I, I, water's great. That's what she would want. It. I, no, I did not. I just saw food and like food, so I got food. Then you would not have gotten anything extra. Damn it! <laughs> Alexander... Uh, Damn you, my appetite! Alexander leans down and whispers <laughs> to, uh, to Julia, probably not as quiet as he thought. And plus, I have my scraps pocket still. Hold on, repeat that, please. He leans down to Julia, probably not as quiet as he thinks he is, and says, Plus, I still have my scraps pocket. Scraps pocket? Oh my god. S Scraps. Like the cracker pocket. Scraps pocket. <laughs> oh, you can see a couple of guards looking at you, but no one says anything. It's just like, oh no. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Not gonna deal with that. No. <laughs> First, I have to find it. Howard. <laughs> Oh, if they are lucky, you're not going to survive till next night. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Alright, but anything else you guys want to do while you're at the table? Look at the uh, oh. Is that a mosquito? Is there a mosquito in my house? Oh, that's not fun. Eat it! Oh, eat it! Get Wait, what? <laughs> Why would you eat it? Get the get, back. get your blood back. <laughs> I repeat, she's not a cat and not a spider. That is indeed a seal. She go orf. Yeah, I'm, I go orf, 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 I'm fat, and I crush you when I lay on you. <laughs> Does that mean I have to eat this uh, shit? You know? <laughs> Do not poke close to me. I am fat. Thank you. But what if hug? Oh no, I just, I just so need nice. you to not park close to me. The, that way oh. I can open the door and let my fat ass out of the car. That is an actual <laughs> sticker my husband has on the side of his car, by the way. It just says, please don't park close to me. I am very fat. Thank you. <laughs> well, the people have been warned. <laughs> Nor it's their fault. Otherwise, you guys eat your food. Yes. And a couple of guards will again, like, make way open, like, a door and basically say, here, with a hand gesture, that's the way out. Baller. <laughs> and the host will pretty much stand up and, like, walk there. Yeah. Memphis will turn or turn to look at uh, thirteen. Like, so I'm guessing you're going to be sleeping with the guards. Thirteen kind of 
starts a bit. She looks over at you and she adjusts her mask a little bit because she'd kind of she pulled it up just slightly so she could get the spoon underneath, but she puts it back into place. Um, I was told that the blankets in the prisoner's bunk are not as bad as the one with the guard, so uh, if you don't mind, oh. I'll be sleeping with you guys. Better to sleep with the people I'm going to be working with, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Probably. But Do I hear this? I mean, up up to you. I was thinking that at the same table. And it's, sure? It depends on the volume. Are you These guys trying to speak casually. stealthily or nah. casually? No. Just nah. casually. Okay, yeah, then you can probably okay. easily hear that they're talking. Then I, she carry hear that uh, and is like thinking, maybe I should join then there. <laughs> <laughs> It's my ear. <laughs> you can notice that. Oh, uh, Briar, did you give not just the armor, but did you also give your weapon to the guard? Yes, I gave the weapon to the guard. Then you can very much notice that the big ass greatsword that uh, 13 had is also not with her right now. As Did well somebody just drop you in the recent time? Or... <laughs> what? Uh, your your weapon. It's... Oh, it, she like kind of shifts her shoulders a bit. Uh, no, I I gave it to the guards. Just, uh... Oh, probably very smart. Yeah. yeah, not fun to sleep with a greatsword on your back. I mean, and also I. Don't want to imagine what a bunch of uh, unarmed um, people who are against you can do with a greatsword. Yeah, I, I don't want to give anyone a, an opportunity. And she kind of once again she like looks in the direction of where Alexander went. <laughs> can I try to roll perception to hear this? Uh, where you were trying to leave before this? Yes. Yeah, then roll me perception. Baller. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah. You, you can, you can uh, feel that you're being talked about. A <laughs> <Achoo. laughs> <laughs> 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 Fucking sneezes. Looks behind you. She's talking shit. <laughs> She's not talking shit, she's just it's, being protective. It is a fucking mosquito. Come here, you motherfucker. It's it's more like the uh <laughs> like the anime uh shill up the spine like <laughs> Bam. Not even a vampire gonna okay. make you do that. Nice. Oh lordy. I feel <laughs> stared. That's probably all the guards. Um yeah. Memphis kind of, or Memphis, 13 kind of looks around and then she looks back at Memphis and she's like, you're, um, you're smart, right? Sure. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I read a lot. Do you know anything about, um, <clears throat> enchanted items by any chance? I mean, that's basically my profession. I should know. She reaches into like a little pocket on her pants and she pulls out um she pulls out is it two stones or one stone, Yasha? Uh you would have one stone and the other person ha would have the other one. Right. She pulls out a stone and she kind of like holds it. She's shielding it a bit from like any of the anybody else and she's just showing it to you. Would you know how to activate these? Does Memphis recognize this magic item? Um, you look at it, you immediately recognize. Actually, no, do me a kind of check. It's not, it's not a high one, but do me a kind of check. Yeah, you immediately recognize this is supposed to be a sending stone. You can feel a little bit of magic come from it. And I probably also know how to like operate it. You, you know how these things work. And. Yeah, I, I know how to yeah, do that. You want to be secretive about it? 
just speaking quietly already. <laughs> She's not coughing, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Meds went up the nose. Uh, it's probably best not to let most people know about it. Sure, um... You want to go to a quiet corner? We bit. probably don't want to be overheard, or you don't want to be overheard. By now, most of the other prisoners have left, apart from the party who has uh, who is still here. Which, hands up if you are still here for this portion. Everyone else. Uh, me. I me believe. too. So, Masa Chikari. Mm. Yeah, Martin Chikoni. Yes. Nice, okay. Guessing Alexander already left with Julia. Yee. Yeah. Big gun gun! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. In the friends. eyes of God, they're going to pray. What are y'all thinking about? Someone is on their knees. Exactly. Yeah. Alexander, he's praying. He's praying. <laughs> He's actually probably doing a handstand. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> being, uh, you're already being led to uh, the barracks, the prisoner barracks. They are very simple barracks. There is literally only beds. That's it. Um, the beds do seem okay. There is some dust in the corner here or there, but... The beds themselves seem to be in not that much used, considering that these transports are supposed to only happen like once a month, once every couple of months is enough. Uh, quote unquote volunteers have mm -hmm. found themselves. All right. Well, um, Alexander will be busy uh, actually praying. Um, yeah. Not the funny ha-has. Um, Julia will indeed join you. Yeah, that's um, what he's doing. He's probably just trying to comfort himself and Julia as much as he can during the um, the remainder of the evening. Eating <laughs> eating from his scrap pocket. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the cracker pocket. <laughs> Do me a stealth check. A sleight of yeah, hand, sure. rather. Sleight of hand? You got it. 19! Nice. No one notices, apart from Julia, who is, like, right right in front of you, seeing you put it into your mouth. Yep. It's not a lot. It's, like, crumbs of bread, uh, probably a bit too dried meat. Um, oh. It really is, like, just fingertips amount of food. Yeah, enough to hold you over, but that's it. Yeah, exactly. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna beat myself because cat needs water. Ah! <laughs> the what cat does... needs water the cat immediately murders angels yeah. straight up it's like I wanted water five minutes ago it is time to die <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> alright back to group A the people that uh, haven't yet left the canteen you can see the guards are already being a little bit like what are you waiting for like huh you guys are uh, just... supposed to go to your barracks. Moth was taking a sweet time with the zoo. <laughs> Memphis would glare at anyone approaching them. Just fuck off. Barks like a cat. Have... <laughs> <laughs> she carries standing up and follows the orders, goes, goes to the barracks. Alright. You're being led to the barracks by one of the guards. Uh, the guard uh, asks you quickly, do you want your weapons to be on your person or do you want them to be stored for tomorrow? I want them on my person. All right, your choice. Keep them close. All right, you... Other than that, you are being led to the barracks. You see the same set Alexander and Julia saw earlier. Just beds, nothing else. Uh, a couple of the prisoners has, have already like sat down. One of them has already like laid down trying to get a little bit of shut eye. You can see one of them is crying in the corner. <laughs> oh no. She carries mumbling to herself. Maybe they are what do you want? more fitting than trees and 
the grunt of the woods. I could try out to sleep in something like that. You barked at me. You're getting air jail time. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a guest. <laughs> dog. Yeah, Greta. it's the dog. Greta, say hello. Okay, she doesn't want to say hello, sad. No. <laughs> sad. sad. The, the cat did jail. murder me. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Right. Anywho. Moss is still eating. The guards are indeed just like giving you a fucking side eye at this point. <laughs> I'm I'm sipping loudly just to eat. <laughs> 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 uh, um you can the other two, Memphis and Fertine, you can see a guard approach. As you say, hey, the two of you are supposed to go to the barracks. What's taking you up? Just, uh... She, like, holds up two fingers, like, trying to be like, just give me two minutes. Alright. Don't take That's too long. Glare. Of course not. Why do you smell? What did you do? Oh my God. <laughs> Why are you so okay? <laughs> Not Memphis, the dog. My dog <laughs> smells. What did you do? Did you get into the trash? Are you being stinky? <laughs> trash oh my God. You're getting air jail. <laughs> stinky bloof. Anywho, uh, yeah. It's Memphis. They're... Why do I keep calling my character your character? 13 will uh, uh, hold out the stone to like to Memphis to be like, hey, can you show me how to use this? Uh, do, do you want me to activate it right now? Um, uh, yeah, uh, it won't be long. I just, I don't, I don't know how. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'll just leave it with you after I'm done. Yeah. And he'll d uh, do things. Oh, arcade sure. stuff. <laughs> how do we do this? You Activate and try to send a message with it, because these are indeed sending stones. Does the person that activates it is is that the person the only person who can send the message, or is it also like can it just be handed off? Um, actually, <laughs> should be able to be anyone. One second, let me look at the item again. Uh, buh, buh, buh. God, where the fuck did I put it? <laughs> ah! Grim. Fuck, I'm gonna search it up. Sending stones. Sending stones come in pairs with each While you touch one stone, you can use an action to cast a sending spell. From a target is the bearer of the other stone. If no creature bears the other stone, you know that fact as soon as you use the stone and can't cast the spell. Once sending is cast through the stones, they can't be used again until the next dawn. And you don't have to have sending as a spell. It just you do not, happens. and there is no attunement. Oh, heck yeah. Then I'm going to activate it. All right. Um... Nothing happens. And you can tell. Thirteen cannot. In... She's just staring at it like excited yes. puppy. As in there's there's no other side like no other side. The stone does nothing. There is I'm gonna absolutely look it over. no reaction from the stone to anything you do with a magic. But yeah, I'm I'm going to inspect it closer to see if it's actually like if the incantation on it is correct. If it's actually a sending stone or just a stone with the runes do, drawn on. Do me another arcana check. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! You notice nothing wrong. These are the exact same runes you try and like perceive a little bit of the magical aura. This is supposedly a sending stone. This is supposed to react to your command. And uh, he will, you know, try again with a with a attempting to do to 
do the sending. And when it doesn't react, I'm presuming it doesn't react. It, it doesn't react. He will just sort of stare at it for a bit, think, and then sort of hold it out again. Um, it might have been used before the last... Did you, did you use it in between the last dawn and now? She kind of stares at it, confused, like, just the eyes behind the mask just kind of narrowed in confusion. Uh, no, they were given to me when I left. I haven't used them since. I, um... He, he will hesitate, sort of As you unsure think about in his it, hesitation. You know that there is essentially two possibilities to you. One is to you a lot more likely, because sadly you rolled a little bit low. Yeah. Um, there is a possibility the stone is fake, but you went over it, everything looks correct, it gives off the correct magical signature. There is also just the possibility that no one else is holding the other stone right now, because only then sending can be cast. Yeah. They must be on the person. Oh no, okay. Um... I, I think the other person might not be um, holding on to the stone at the moment. So we can uh, try tomorrow, if that is okay with you. Of course. I, c I can try again in a bit, but um, yeah. Just probably busy. It's Yeah, fun. sure. Uh, <laughs> thank you. He will, he will smile assuringly, though it's small. And just hand the stone back, sort of gently pat the arm. You know, like, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> but doesn't say that. 13 right. just, like, raises the stone and thanks, and then we'll uh, walk toward the prisoner barracks to go EB. EB. The guard will uh, show you the way. EB and so we're just saying, uh, watch your back. Memphis will glare slightly. <laughs> not gonna do shit. You might not. <laughs> I know. You might not. Looks at the parkour man. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moss, do you uh, delay going to the barracks any longer? Um. Hmm. Do I be salty? Nah. Uh. Ma Moss has eventually finished uh, messing with the cards, but but um, he finished the soup, and he's gonna he he's gonna head to go to sleepies. All right. Anything anyone wants to in the barracks? Otherwise, I'd say you go to sleep and we take a short break. Uh, I do have a question. Um, would uh. For for Moss, he's wearing the specific corset to hide his wings. Uh, is he still? Has he always been wearing it the whole trip through, or no? That is up to you. No one would have taken it from you. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna say as soon as he finds a bed to sleep on, uh, he he's gonna like not take off the whole corset, but he's gonna, like, release the logs from his back corset and let out his wings so that he can sleep comfortably. You can tell a couple of heads that are not yet already completely sleeping up, like, look at you and just go, whoa. <laughs> is uh, Moss in the same room as, uh, 13? Everyone uh, is in the same barrack. Oh, hell yeah! Thirteen's gonna look at your wings, like, ooh, pretty! She ain't gonna say anything, but she's gonna look at it. Uh, the does Moss notice thirteen staring, or, or anyone staring? Um, do you look around, or do you just take it off and plant your face in the bunk? Um, he's gonna like take it off and kind of like glance down at his wings to like see the condition of his wings like see if they're if they're hurt because like wearing a corset is hard enough for 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 most people <laughs> i hear <Yeah>. that <laughs> sure do me a perception check to see who all is uh staring yeah 
Oof. You can notice some people are staring, but with 13, especially with her mask, you don't notice that she's looking. Also, um, for the people that Moss notices who are staring, he kind of gives them like a, like a cheapish grin, sort of, and like, uh, flutters his wings like, yeah, I got these again. <laughs> he plops down yeah. to bed. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Thirteen before going to sleep will basically, like, adjust everything to, like, however she wants it. And right before she lays down, she will take off the mask, hang it on the side of the bed, turn and face, like, away. She'll face the wall. And she'll sleep like that to hide her face. All right. Thanks. And, and then you're also facing your mask, essentially. Hmm? You're facing your mask, essentially. Where you, where you're no, my, it. I just put my like my mask on like a bed poster or just something. She just leaves okay. it somewhere where she can Easy. see it, and then she'll turn and face the. She'll face away from the mask, essentially. Okay. Facing the wall. Yep. And she'll go hunk shoo, hunk shoo, me, 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 me. <laughs> Hell yeah. May I suggest this... a bathroom break but when everyone goes to sleep? I was gonna yeah. I was gonna say this is anyone else doing anything before you guys go to sleep? Otherwise a bathroom break and then time skip to next morning. Sounds good. Nope. Alright. With that, Alexandra and Julia finish their prayers and everyone else also then uh, longs in the bed. And yeah. Brain is indeed farting again. We shall take a bathroom break before we uh, continue in the morning. Oh. <laughs> yes. That was so loud. Did you oh add it to God. this server? Maybe. Yes, you did. Thank you. You're welcome. This is going to happen a lot more as yep. my brain is trying to adjust. Um, yep. yeah. All right. Bathroom time. Okay. Wee. Bathroom time. See ya. <laughs>
We are back. Hello. Oh. We're back in the biz. And it goes like this. Eminem rapping. Scary that Bob up. Good. I wasn't singing Eminem, but okay, hey, that's. Yeah. I know you weren't. I just wanted to go crazy, go stupid. Go bonkers. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> no, we're right, at Eminem. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? In my pants. <laughs> Tell your friend. <laughs> 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 Alright. What we do in Panda Man? Okay. Yeah. Alright. You all, uh,. Oh, went to bed before we left off. And, oh, uh, I thought that was our morning song. Oh. Like, you all wake up to uh, Shikari singing Eminem. I mean, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> The great bard You had one Eminem. chance. Would you take it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> no. Um, you get about seven hours of sleep in before a guard, like, Longs open the door, like hits the door and says, All right, everyone, get up. <laughs> Alexander and Yulia probably looks at him like, We've been up. <laughs> 13 will <laughs> reach behind her, grab her mask, put it on, and then sit up. Moss is just gonna groan tiredly. It's just like five more minutes. <laughs> Come on! Don't have all day. Stand up, stretching a bit, being like, "That felt good." Surprisingly, <laughs> first time sleeping on a bunk. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's better than the forest ground, so it was comfortable. I've been awesome. traveling for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, so, uh, do you all stand up and uh, try and join the line of grumpily and sleepy other people? I uh, yeah. is gonna just tiredly get like... up, but just. So, you go. No, oh, no, you'll go first. You'll go first. <laughs> Memphis will just get up, sort of holding onto the bed. And just stand there for a solid like five seconds trying to be there. <laughs> <laughs> really not having a good time. <laughs> Me every morning without a coffee. <laughs> uh, 13 is sitting on the edge of her bed uh, looking at that stone again. Just a side eye at the stone. Um, <laughs> uh, Moss is gonna like tiredly like when the guard like told him like come on get up. Uh, Moss is just gonna tiredly take the pillow from under and then just very tiredly throw the pillow at the guard before <laughs> before he reluctantly gets out of bed. Uh, do me. Do you throw it, like, heavily, or just, like, in a general direction? In a general direction. Yeah. <laughs> sure, you, you throw the pillow, it, it doesn't quite reach the guard. <laughs> but the guard just looks at you. You little fucking shit. I'm gonna watch, oh. I'm gonna enjoy watching you suffer. Moss is just gonna, like, give him a very angry stare and just <laughs> um instead of like f he doesn't like flip him off with his uh fingers or anything he just like gets up and like turns away flapping his wings as if that's like flipping him off <laughs> alexander gives you two thumbs up from his corner <laughs> Yeah, uh, he 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 sheepishly grins from the thumbs up, and then he uh, tucks his wings away back into the corset, getting ready. 
All right. Mm. E. Anyone else do anything special when standing up and trying to get ready? No. <laughs> you good kitty? Yeah, that, that, that's just Memphis. Just sort okay. of sitting there, standing there. <laughs> okay. Take a <laughs> breath. You so can Chicago do this. gets going, Moss gets going. Yeah. <laughs> Julia is already up next to Alexandra. You can tell she wants to leave, but she's waiting for you. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's raring to go. What? Oh, no handstand? Come on. The two of you leave. Thirteen and Memphis. Hey. Yeah, Memphis will probably like look around. Just sort of looking if if Memphis at thirteen left already. And then seeing her st I'm I'm guessing still by the bed. Yeah, she's sitting on the edge of the bed, trying to figure out how to activate the stone. Yeah, like sees the stone in her hands, like walks over. Like, still very messy. He, he looks like a wreck. He looks like he's been drinking, but he has not. And just sort of sits down beside her. And and uh, guides her through the motions. I don't know. Is, is is there somatic components to that, or is it just magic? Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, there you are. The item. The oh, let me actually look at the sending spell again. This time I have it open. <laughs> Um, there are both verbal as well as semantic components. The Sending Stone doesn't require a material component. It is the material component. But it is basically an activation phrase and a short little symbol you wave into the, the air. Yeah, he will accidentally be a bit too close and sort of like show her the hand motions and say the phrase again. Like, in a gravelly morning voice like you have to uh, say the phrase and then you know w wave your hands like that oh okay <laughs> uh, watch 13 will uh, do that all right nothing happens does she frown He he looks at it and is like, did it not work again? Yeah. Mind if I try again? She hands the stone to you. And he will also just do the hand motion and say the phrase. Again, nothing yeah. happens. Um. Um. Or the other person just forgot to pick it up. Yeah, I'm. I'm really not sure. Sorry. Don't mind what I'm saying. Are you, are you just yet? Are you trying to investigate it again, or are you too sleepy? I would try, but probably at disadvantage. Cause... Yeah. I would, I would say you're, you're having just fun. If you say you're good, it's groggy again, the advantage. Yeah, just, I, I kinda... <laughs> oh. 22 and 15, okay. Still high for those rolls. That's, wow. that's still a 15, yeah, that's Dang. pretty high. Um. Yeah. You don't fully know what exactly is going on. But you know that even with no one on the other side, the stone should react in some shape or form. Usually, when you use a magic item, there's usually a little bit of an extra glow, the magic swells up a little bit. This thing does 
nothing. It gives off all the right aura. It it has all the right symbols on it. And as you like work through it, you can not notice anything like hidden on it or any of that type of stuff. But as you know, this thing should at least react to the incantation. And it's not. Yeah, he will, he will sort of squint his eyes as, as they get a bit clearer and sir, turning it around again. That's strange. But what is... still s sort of handed back. It, um, it might be, uh... no, I, it, it's not reacting as it should be. I did. Sending Stone got the um, the matrixes should at least <laughs> have have like a swell in magic. It it doesn't make sense. Um, Is it broken? It, I I don't think I might have to look at it later. It's my, I can't see clearly just yet. Um, All right. Sure. Yeah, he hands us back and uh, slowly stands up. <sighs> examination, day. examination day. It's exciting. Thirteen nods and will also stand, slipping the stone back into her pocket. He will make his way, sort of in in the direction that the guards are guiding them. Mm -hmm. With everyone leaving, I'm guessing? 13 years leaving? Yep. Alright. Um, once again, you see the stage still built. Not still built, still standing there. You can see the captain on it again. Um, this time, the guard that welcomed, welcomed you, in quotation marks, at the gate standing right beside him, and a couple of guards lined out around the courtyard again, and one of them is indeed also holding your armor, 13. Your nice. armor and your sword. I'm going to walk and over can... to that guard and get my shit back. <laughs> he will give it to you immediately, no questions. He can tell who you are. Yeah, I um, hope so, that mask is pretty striking. Yeah, that mask is pretty telling. For everyone else, you can notice there is indeed um, little racks of weaponry and uh, light to medium armor build up. Um, but you are being corralled into two lines in front of the stage again. Wait, so, so we're not getting our stuff back yet? Not quite yet. Dang. You do notice over there is also a cart that just has like a couple chests right behind them. Um, does anyone do anything on their way to the stage? Otherwise, I'm going to be doing the speech. No, thirteen just puts her stuff back on. Right. Speech, 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 yeah. speech. All right. I hope you got. You all had a fucked up night, apart from you two, of your wonderful night. Today's combat assessment. As I said yesterday, we are not going to supply you unless you know how to handle yourselves. And if you can't even survive that fight, we are not giving you shit. Otherwise we'd be spending our fucking money into the drain and we don't want to do that here. That being said, you're getting your combat stuff. There's weapons, there's armor. That guy over there, and he points to the guard in that chest behind him, has your personal shit. If there's anything you need for the fight itself, go there. The groups are going to be as follows. And he like starts listing people. One of the groups has Julia in it, one of the first two. And the third group, he starts saying, all right, and the group of both the volunteers this time, 13 and Shigari, we also have Memphis, 
Alexander and Moss. Oh. oh boy, he's going to kill me. <laughs> she just she just kind of like <laughs> nods her head and mumbles to herself as she wanders. I don't know towards where their group's supposed to go. And he will like point to a little bit behind the stage. There are things are numbered. <laughs> go to your numbered one. Speaking of, that, I actually numbered them on the fucking map. No, I did not. What is behind the stage? Whoops. Did he already describe that? that he did not yet. I interrupted my own speech because I uh, wanted to check the map itself. Lol. Lel. All right. Over there is going to be a small little fight we set up for you that we set up every time your fuckers arrive here. Again, get all the stuff you need for combat. You're getting all the rest of your shit back if you survive that. Also, if once you get into the group, at least tell each other how you fight. You can't survive combat without fighting together. Cool. Is, this is do I understand this correct? Uh, Shikari is asking, do I understand this correct that this is a group fight now? Or are we fighting one on one? You I are think fighting, we're fighting something as else. a group. Ah. Oh. You and. You are in a group of five, and there is a group of four, and another group of five. You will be facing some undead. They will be weaker than what you are facing on the other side of the wall, to be fair. But. If you can't even kill Ace, you can't kill Jack shit that's out there, so. Okay. So, I am, um, I can be an archer, but I'm more proficient in using my swords in close combat. What are you? What are your fighting styles? I turn around and ask and look at everybody. <laughs> you turn around. A couple of the other prisoners are already going to like the stands to get their weaponry and their armor. What they need. But... Yeah, Memphis will also make his way to the personal guy. The, the, the guy with the personal stuff. Try to get his cane. <laughs> He and he, like, uh, he has a list. Oh, looks at your, your name. Memphis. Memphis, uh, what do you need? It, the, the cane. The big, dark, shiny. Uh, the cane. All right. Uh, this box. And you see him, like, rummage a little bit. Ah, right, this thing. Yeah. Like, calls it up. That's yours. I was like, okay, here you go. Yeah. Thanks. Now, that's Finally. a fancy bottle of wine. I might be able to join that if what? I don't tell the captain. You said you had a bottle of wine, woman. I I did, but but like, did he just say that he's gonna keep it? Maybe. <laughs> Memphis now using his cane will step a bit closer, or is it as close as he can? Basically, you are not touching that. He will try to in intimidate. Oh, I mean he's. He's glaring very fiercely. He's been looking forward to that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> the guard kind of standing up from the box, closing it. I will if you don't survive this. Fair, I guess. And, 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 oh, wait, um, there should be like a few knives in there. Or a dagger. He again opens it up. Uh, a few small knives, yeah. There I just need a dagger. He looks through it like this is a small knife. This is an even smaller knife. <laughs> this is a skull <laughs> Which one of these? The biggest one. It, it doesn't look... Th that's a scalpel. Don't touch that. You're gonna cut yourself. <laughs> he is wearing armor. <laughs> Don't 
Yeah, you know, this guy feels fucking sharp. I mean, yeah, they are. He, he might actually cut himself if he's trying to <laughs> have stabbed by the blade. Yeah. It's like, hey. But that's why I'm guessing then. And he, he mm. hands you. What is the biggest of the blades? And it is indeed your dagger. Yeah, dagger. 1d4. Yeah. Thanks. I'll be looking forward to that bottle of wine. Don't you fucking touch it before. <laughs> you can and. tell that he is grinning. Most of his face is covered by a helmet, but he is grinning. Memphis is glaring so hard. <laughs> <laughs> and he will go back to the group. Alexander will look to uh, Shikari and respond. Well, I kick, I punch. I'm pretty handy with a sword, but I prefer my stick. Okay, so you're a close combat too. Yep, that's good. So I don't, um, so I don't need to be on the front line at all. I mean, he looks towards thirteen. I don't think any one of us will be alone up there. You might be right. She just you taps I'm, I'm, the I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that sword. I'm looking at this, that long sword and be like, yeah, fair That's point. A sword. That's bigger than a long sword. Okay, a great <laughs> she, sword. She pulls the great sword out of her sheath and she like kind of sets it in the dirt and it, it's like taller than moss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's about her it. height, maybe a couple of centimeters off, but it's big. Oh, so it's claymore sized, okay. Yes. I this mean, is fucking like, look at that oh, thing. Let me, let me look, hold on, let me look at the difference between a spy hunter and a claymore. I mean, with that reach, 13 doesn't need to be in close range. Yeah, yeah it's it's, not... it's closer to a spy hunter than it is uh, anything else. Yeah, but with so, how the indeed does it, it is. Big boy. Hey. Still. <laughs> I mean, uh, which which undead will reach her with that sword between her and the undead? Fair. Okay, so we have three people that likes to go up and be close and personal. What do you two do? Uh, Moss kind of like uh turns. Like his ears perk up at, at the question, and he goes, "Well, I'm pretty good at hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, you know, close range attacks and other things. But I'm sure you or anyone else don't have to know that now." So, and he just walks away towards uh, towards one of the guards to get his personal weaponry. Cool. So we have mm -hmm. four people. Members. You go to the guard with the chests, he asks for your name and what you want. Uh, I... Oh. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can do it after the group has talked. Okay, and Memphis will just raise his hand. I can whack people with this, and he holds out his cane. But I prefer to stand in the back lines. I'm more of the arcane type. So uh. we have a range person yeah. here. It could be quite dangerous for you to stand alone somewhere. I mean, it's, it, it's a fight. It's gonna be dangerous everywhere. What do you expect? Damn true. I'll be fine. Fair I'll point. Keep around, one of you. Anyway, I'm gonna go fetch my stick. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Moss, you. Same as Memphis approached the guard that has the chests behind him with the personal stuff. He'll ask you, name? Moss Van Rosa, and I need my sickle, two spears, and if they're if they're scratched or damaged, I'm gonna get pissed off. You are the weirdo with a bunch of weapons, and like he goes to like he takes one step to the left, opens up a chest and just pulls out a couple weapon pieces of weaponry. Ah, uh, sickle, two spears, these ones. He he looks at them for a moment and goes, yep, yep, those are those are the ones. Alright, anything else? Mm. 
probably some dignity, but I doubt you have any. And then he takes the one. You're gonna get yourself killed. You need your juridic focus, by the way. <laughs> spells. Uh, I had to go salty. I had to go salty oh, just God. for that one bit. <laughs> Wake note, you need your juridic focus for spells. Uh, wait, was, what was that? You need your spellcasting focus. Uh, spellcasting focus? Uh, that would be just a droidic symbol or something like that. So, yes. Uh, let me look at my stuff. Doesn't mention it. Oh, let me quickly check the droid class, because I think every spellcaster needs a spellcasting focus. Uh, no, you can also have a component pouch. Uh, da Varian casting spells. Arcane focus is uh, just. I don't want to have bad shit in my pocket, so. Yeah. You can use a druidic focus or cut spell casting focus for your druid spells, yeah. It would just be a small idol or something. Like, it's not nothing fancy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I, I see on the, on the list of equipment there is a druidic focus. Yeah. Yeah. He will hand you that over as well before you make your uh, comment about dignity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he makes the comment and quickly just walks away, like hurriedly walks away. <laughs> Thirteen is staring at you as you come back, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Feisty uh, ones today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mosh just like looks back at 13 and just kind of like gives a fly shrug like it, 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 it's a lot it's complicated I mean... <laughs> she just kind of narrows her eyes at you and turns and looks away at something else mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alexander you see Julia also approach the guy with the uh, personal stuff first and request her stuff which consists of uh, notes there are my notes uh consists of a little bit of a spell casting pouch as well as one of your holy symbols a sun with a sun yeah a sun made of metal with a little red stone in the middle of it a sunstone as you know oh yeah Uh, I was gonna say, if you don't do anything, she will also go over there too. I feel like I should. I have three monitors. I don't need more. <laughs> I know, um, but you're still searching. Yes. Yeah, Alexander so will just before she goes back. He'll just um, quickly give her a hug, and uh, she will indeed return it. He'll he'll say the the very few words that he know in. Uh, so okay, question. <clears throat> mm -hmm. In my head, when it comes to like religious texts and such, I always treat celestial like it's Latin. That is roughly how it is. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so uh, Alexander would say the 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 one of the few phrases that he fully knows in Celestial, which would be something akin to May the sun shine ever stronger on you. And may it guide your path. Yeah, I'm going to say that's that's like one of your temples or churches just sayings that they use pretty frequently. So she 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 understands it and she nods and also says may it guide yours as well. Then he'll turn to the guard. Uh, the guard will also turn to you. Same with the others. Name? Alexander. Give me my stick. <laughs> Alexander stick. And he looks at the chest and is like, there are a couple sticks. Which one? The long one. 
And um, he picks out one of the sticks. Uh, what did I mention? Fuck it, let me... I don't have a coin. Motherfucker, roll 1d2. <laughs> it is the wrong stick. There is two sticks that are roughly the same length as like this one. The other one. Like, the one with the small little wrappings in the middle. I'm not know, be sure that's it. That's it. And he just grabs that. Here you go. He doesn't say thanks. He just grabs it out of his hands and turns back to the group. All right. Anyone that needs armor still needs to go to the armor stand. But I was going to say you do that without much problem. Yeah. He's, he's going to get some leather armor and be very uncomfortable in it. Just like. <laughs> yeah. All right. You see Alex Julia going and grabbing like a small mace. Hell yeah. Um, but with that, everyone has their combat gear. And you were indeed instructed to uh, go to the thing numbered behind the stage that you did not yet see. Do you do that? Yeah. 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 Yep. All right. And I am going to switch you all over to the cage. Oh, shit. Tell what me about? when you're loaded in. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I did not bother giving the other groups tokens as well. Just so that there is no confusion. But uh, you should have your tokens. You should be able to move them. Yep. Um, yep. Let's see. Oh, uh, question. Yes. Do these cages have roofs on them? They do not, but they are pretty high. Perfect. You do notice in the back of the cages are indeed skeletons, one in each cage. And you can see that there is a release mechanism, although you cannot quite tell fully how it functions. Wait, in, in each of the little cage thingies? Is indeed a skeleton, yes. Okay. Groaning and uh, very much trying to reach out of this, the cage, trying to get to you. Oh. And they look right. hungry? How the fuck would skeletons be hungry? I don't know, I just needed to say something, okay? <laughs> that nervous. Yes. You studied these things. Calcium. I did. Why are you nervous? You should be the most confident in this group. Well, with, I'm... with your study, you can very much tell that they are just like, kill, kill, kill. I'm, I mean, they're still thirsty and hungry. They just want to kill us. What? Great. They just like the we're, vampires. We're, we're... 13 um, looks I... over at Alexander and she narrows her eyes and then she looks back at the skeleton. You're also getting side eyes from several guards. <laughs> she'll, <laughs> she'll step up closer to the cage. Just like, nah, I'm going in first. I'm tanking the damage. I am the tank. <laughs> yeah, well, um, that was good. Just <laughs> slides away. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm saying to uh, to Alex or Alexandra. Um, I'm always nervous, but I'm also confident in myself. So I don't think there's a problem with being nervous. I guess. Uh, Alexander twists the staff a little bit and holds it. Uh, along the back side of his arm. I, I take confident steps towards the gate. 13 be like, will, let's do this! 13 will take, like, an elastic band from around her wrist and she'll tie the poofy hair up to keep it out of the way. Hell yeah. Good. Smart. Yep. Very good. Anything any one of you wants to do before I start this? Uh, Moss is gonna like go, go up 
towards like the cage walls and kind of like muttering to himself he's like hmm i wonder if i could keep a skull after this fight if you do it sneakily enough please do not take the skulls of the dead what are it's they gonna not do like they're that? gonna use it after exactly Exactly. Don't Safety. take the skull. <laughs> Fine. I'll just take a ribcage if I find Don't one. take any part of it. Do you have Again. a death wish, fairy? <laughs> I'm looking sideways. Fairy? What? That's a fairy, right? You're not an yes? elf. I've met many elves. You are not an elf. Stickler for the rules here. And you're... You also saw the wings. Yeah, and she, like, kind of points at the, the like, corset thing. And that. <laughs> it, it... Uh... She, she kind of didn't notice the wings he was sleeping. <laughs> so he's like... What does the corset have to do with anything? It was having... Uh, Moss kind of, like, quickly, like, just says aloud well anyways how about we get this fight started and just discuss all this uh stuff all right later. <sighs> yeah yeah Memphis awesome. look I'm, still, I'm still gonna take a skull uh, <laughs> <laughs> she will fight you if you try to take the skull okay. uh, 13 solves problems uh, by physical force do you want to have a repeat of session zero yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. Probably not. <laughs> Very yeah. interactive for you. As everyone is getting ready for the fight, the other groups are getting ready as well. They are. You can hear them talking amongst each other, going over similar things as you guys did earlier. Who is going to stand, going to stand where? You can hear some being very overconfident, and others you cannot hear the voices of at all. Can, as they are probably more scared than anything else. But after a little bit, um, the captain and his right hand speak up again. All right, you guys got accustomed to each other. You have all your equipment you need for this one. Guards open the doors and on every cage, a guard will approach the door and open it for you. Get in. There will be five skeletons for every single group of yours. Uh, don't get too close to the cages before you guys start. They will open towards the front. Those that survive, you get to live. Those that don't, well, you're bad. <laughs> well, skill issue. Anywho. Well, skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Surprisingly, a Surprisingly, if you die, you die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you don't survive, well... That's your problem. Exactly. That indeed is a problem. Okay. Please enter the cage. I, there should not be walls preventing you from moving your tokens in there. Wing. Wing. There's not walls Wing. at all. <laughs> no, I did indeed not buy pro yet. He <laughs> smiles. I'm go thirteen is going in head first. She like puts puts the, the sword in both hands and she's in stance. She's a trained soldier going in to fight. Yeah. Right. Please Moss, position yourself. Hmm? Oh inside yes, like... the cage. I I'm going, <laughs> I'm going inside. Oh Alright. With everyone of every group in the cage, the doors get closed behind you and a bar is stuck. Or not stuck, what the fuck? Lowered. It's lit in front of the door to prevent anyone from just easily getting out. It's nice. not a lock. If you really want to, you could open it, but there's definitely a guard right behind the door making sure that you're not just leaving. Uh -huh. That being said, these cages are about 12, 13 foot high. Um, not the cages in front of you with skeletons, but like around you, the walls. So climbing over them would be a bit difficult, but not impossible. So just uh, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. 
Um, Plus, so uh, 13 will that. call you a coward. Hold up, I'm getting... And uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I had to half translate a sentence into English. <laughs> so been there, Sorry. done that. All good. <laughs> I don't uh, know why I switched um, the language. <laughs> all good. <laughs> I mean, we can roll initiative, I guess? Give me just one second to answer this DM and okay. then... Okay. I just want to use my dice, bro. DM her, I hardly know her. All right. My God. With that being said, okay. Thank please you. Please select your tokens Wah. and roll me initiative. Wah. As the cage door is indeed open. There we go. There's yeah! Jesus. Fuck. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. Can, can you see that? Initiative. No, barely. Hold up. That's uh, a really okay. bad quality. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, not quite. What does it say? Tell us what it is. It says 17. Plus 3, uh, 20. That's 17 plus 3, that is a 20. Gonna... Can I get myself there? Can we please talk about the... how 13 rolled a 13? <laughs> <That was fantastic>. <laughs> <laughs> Good <I> job. <laughs> yeah. Hell 13 yeah. rolled a 13, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and as the doors of the cage is open, these guys go to the token layer. Flip. You see four skeletons and uh, one skeleton with a sword in front of you. And I'm going to need to roll their initiative. Do mm, um, they have tokens? Uh, oh. I can see can't. them. Oh, there they are. Okay, I can. Yeah, they are the right here. Do I look like little... I can read? Yes. <laughs> well, that was. Oh. oh. Uh, that. that. So... And then sword the other way around. All right. Combat starts. Woo Alexander, it is your turn. Fuck yeah. With a um, fucking 20 in initiative, Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Um with a uh impatience uh <laughs> a impatient little jump, he uh he he starts running forward. Um and he's gonna focus on Oh, this is not enough movement. Uh oh, spaghetti oh. He'll be fine. Um, he runs forward, doesn't even allow them to get out of the cage uh, before he just quickly with both hands just does a quick whack. A very short one, but uh, with hopefully enough power to uh, fucking beat the shit out of this thing. That it is a hit, 18. Perfect. Take uh, take a good uh, eight bludgeoning damage. Jesus, is that a max roll? No, not quite. No, it's not even. It's too off. <laughs> max is ten. How do you want to do that? Yeah, again, uh, it's just a it's... quick whack, and the head bounces in the cage for a few moments before everything falls flat onto the floor. Immediately, it just gets decapitated. It doesn't even get to move. A little bit off balance as the cage door opens and just 
basically walks into your quarterstaff. Um, and accept the edit again. Yeah. And using the quarterstaff uh, as a little balancing aid, he uh, jumps up and again aims for the head of the skeleton to his left uh, with a quick kick. Martial arts bonus action. Ow! Oof. He Oof. hits the cage. Yeah, unfortunately, as you are fervorous after the immediate decapitation, you are a bit overzealous with your kick, and instead of hitting the skeleton that also lost its balance just just a little bit, <laughs> uh, you miss entirely and kick the cage. Take one bludgeoning damage to your foot. That's that's fine. He's going to use the uh, the kick on the cage as movement to step back. All right. Uh, did I give these guys opportunity attacks? I did! As you move out of five feet, you get an opportunity attack. As mm -hmm. it tries to scratch you. Uh, did, did. That one. There's a 19 <laughs> hit. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you oh know, with, with 20 at all stats, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> As you take, Jesus Christ, the full four slashing damage from this guy's claws. Oof. Ow. Um... Yeah. He, he rolled a 19 on the two hit die and then rolled a four on the d4. Shit. <clears throat> well, um... well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, These are not commoners. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> For reference, session zero was a fight in a tavern. I got six of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, with that extra gash on his leg, he he hops back a little bit. Uh, huh? that'll be the end of my turn. That'll be your turn, Shikari. You're up. I will move here. That should be fine. I have a speed of thirty. And um, would attack. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And I will attack with my two short swords. Uh, I need right. to roll a d20, right? For yes, sir. knowing to, to hit. That is a 7 plus 5. That is a 12. 12. That hits. Which one of these so, are you attacking? Uh, the one I sent right before. Okay, the left one. one. So 1d6 piercing damage plus 3. That is a 5. That would be 8 piercing damage. 8 total piercing damage. How do you want to do that? I have the main sword in my right hand and will just cut. Um, is it, the doors are open, I, I assume, no? Yes, the uh, doors just will, open. The cage is filled. I, I will just run jump a little bit and swing my arm like from the top right through the chest of the skeleton and hope that I crack his bones. As you jump and your sword kind of goes through this bones and br this guy's brittle bones, uh, you completely go for the ribcage, severing the spine and it collapses in and of itself in of itself, immediately going back against the back of the cage. Okay. And that's this guy. Please, I'm trying to let me get that symbol. Bup. Anything else? I can do... Can I do things? <laughs> Uh, I moved and I attacked. Two so. short swords, right? Yeah, yeah. I can. I could off attack with attack. my bonus with action my... offhand attack. Yeah, I could do that. So I need to roll a d20. Oh shit! That's a two with five or seven. That does not hit, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I hit the cage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. Un unlike. Alexander, who full force clunked the cage, you kind of slide a little bit against the cage. The blade doesn't quite find its mark. Sure. Cool. All right. 
If that is your turn, Memphis, yeah, you're up. Turn. Yeah, I am. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, Memphis is just gonna sort of step to the side a bit so he has better view and still can also back away just a tiny bit. Uh, and will extend his hand and Eldritch Blast the fuck out of this one. The central one, Hopefully. all right. <laughs> uh, that is where it is. Third. Eldritch Blast. Hell yeah. 93 definitely <laughs> hits. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, 23 I'm, I'm freaking lucky. Oof. It like oh, smacks yeah, into him, or it, it, it goes straight for him like a sniper bullet, but then just clunk. <laughs> As you cast the Eldritch Blast, it very much hits the body, and you can tell like it, it takes a little bit of knockback as it like was back just a tiny bit, but most of it, most of the energy just goes f like around the bones and goes into the cage behind them. With his arms still extended, well, I'll take it. And yeah, um, that, he can't really do much more. So just right. uh, you, you, you guys got it. <laughs> Go for it. That is your turn. It is now the skeleton's turn. And precisely this one that you just attacked. However, there is uh, two people already very close up. Let me quickly roll the one d two to see who it goes for. Oh, Alexander! <laughs> I am sorry, <laughs> oh, Alexander no. Hamilton. <laughs> As it moves up, moves here, moves here, um, and tries to hit you. Actually, I did not try a sword, but a short sword. Hmm. Uh, what, um... uh, fuck. There we go, that's the one. There you go. Jesus. Okay, that's a 20, but not a nat 20. He has a modifier. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it, it hits. Yeah. I only have a 15 <laughs> AC. Only. Luckily for you, this one didn't roll so high on the damage. You take three slashing damage from the sword. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, Alexander Again, don't tries... worry, that's why I'm here. I've got healing. Uh, yeah. Alexander <laughs> tries to block with the staff, but he remembers which staff this is, so <laughs> he tries to sidestep instead. As you do that, a little bit of, of your flesh gets caught by the hand axe, and very much... It's it's only a flesh wound, it doesn't bleed profusely, but it very much causes a gash. <laughs> Alright. That was the skeleton's turn. Uh, 13. Alright, y'all know what I'm about to do. She huffs her sword up, but she stalks forward to this, uh, this motherfucker. And I'm gonna do a big ol' smack. 13? How- why am I rolling 13s? Uh, 13 beats your meat. Beats meat, yes! Beat meat. I'll beat oh, my yeah. meat, let's yeah. go! 2d6 plus 3, that's 11 <laughs> slashing damage! Jesus fuck. Great sword! <laughs> 11 oh, slashing boy. damage. Uh, that is his actual HP right now. After the one damage. <laughs> so, so I kill him, right? <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding! So I kill him? You kill him. Yes. I'm gonna do it. I walk straight up to him, and as he's focused on Alexander, I just bring the greatsword down into his in the t into the top of his head and split it. You very much do that. Approaching the skeleton that, uh, in its bloodlust, tried to go for the wounded guy. Very much caused more damage to him, even though you don't particularly uh, grow to like this man. That's against kind of what you stand for. You still just smite the ever-loving fuck with your great sword. Not actual spell smite, just... Yeah, not yet. <laughs> <laying in half. laughs> I can't smite yet. yet. Soon though. Yes, next level. That's, that's next level pallet stuff. 
but yeah, you just completely split him in half. The skull is cleanly split. The ribcage and his arms splinter <laughs> as a little bit of the bones like scatter around. Eleven is a lot of damage for a level one character. That's high. A great yeah. sword. Two d six plus three slashing. <laughs> That's still pretty fucking high. It's amazing. I love it so much. Yeah. They got the power. This right. is this is why I went tank. Murder. Sure. Indeed. No, it is. This is this is why I went tank. Uh the the tank who does the most damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Feels yep. like League of Legends. Exactly. <laughs> I am Chogoth. Um <laughs> other than I that, I if you're dead. Don't have a bonus action I can use yet so uh you'll get healing on the next round okay bud ah i'll be fine i'll just be dead no <laughs> not again <laughs> <laughs> all right so I'm, I'm gonna end my turn there having split a fucking skeleton open no one hell yeah all right okay. months you're up hello uh i'm gonna go to uh this one over here uh, how far is that? Let me measure. You have a measuring tool. 25, so I believe that is okay. Yeah, you can move to right in front of it. Yeah, yeah. So I will move my boy. There you go. And I am going to use my uh, two-handed spear. To give him a give the the thing a little a little quick bonk, a little stabby bonk. stabby. Stab. Nineteen yeah. hits, Jesus. Hell yeah. Let's see what's the damage though. Oh heck yeah. What Ooh. the heck? That's a max roll. Fuck yeah, eleven For piercing once, damage. The dice Hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> you guys are rolling hot. <laughs> <laughs> How do you want to do that? The two is uh, <laughs> Must kind of like just know, speed right. runs over to the skeleton and like raising the spear, he just like uh, smashes the blade of the spear right through its skull, like at the side of its skull, crushing it. Hell yeah. Again, like the other skeletons not having fully recovered. Uh, from the doors opening, you easily strike it, crush the skull as it stumbles forward, and the rest of its body just hits the floor. Yeah. And I, I don't have bonus action, I believe, so... Yep, that is what I do. That is your turn. Hell no. <laughs> It is then finally the skeleton's turn, <laughs> with only one of them remaining. <laughs> As they rolled a fucking four for initiative. <laughs> Six to be them. Um, this one has three targets at roughly equal distance. As it uh, moves forward and takes up the same space as this guy, but I'm just going to move it to the side. And goes for 13. And does a little bit of a scratch attack. So, wait, I've been rolling these two GM. Ah, sure, I'll keep it that way. Uh, that's a free. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing a free doesn't hit 13 in the slightest. Y yeah, no. No, I have played mail on. That, that's 16, baby. You ain't yeah. hitting shit. <laughs> As it stumbles forward, like gets its leg caught in the remains of. I'm not gonna say comrades, undead don't necessarily have that concept, but of, of, uh, the thing that came before it tries to scratch you, but very much just is way too short. Uh huh. Short motherfucker, and nobody likes you. I cast Vicious Mockery, <laughs> net 20, let's go. All right, I'm going to do an environmental turn right before Alex, as it goes back to the turn order. While all of your fighting is going on and you're concentrating on your fight in front of you, you can, of course, hear the fights in the other cages as well. 
Um, you can hear a lot of panicked screaming. Anyway, Alexander, it's your turn. Fucking whack. A whack. Can I... 16 very much hits. Nine. Nine bludgeoning damage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Again, another skull goes whee! As you, same as before, go for the skull of the skeleton. Completely, it having missed 13 and having been off balance just gets hit flat. And you see the skull just roll past, like roll, like all the way over here. Um, with that, he's already looking in like this direction. Can you see Yulia and how she's doing? As you look over, you can see the fight in this cage. You can't see the fight in, in the other one. But Julia is in this cage. In that short amount of time, she's the only one left standing. And she isn't looking well. How many skeletons are left in there? All five. Oh, okay. Oh, no. uh... You can see some ski Like, one of them has some scorch marks. The, the heavy one. That has a sword, has some scorch marks, and isn't looking well. But everything else, four of them are going for her. One just ripped out the throat of a poor fucker over here. All right. Um, if you want, I can also place some tokens down. That's fine. Uh, with this, uh, Alexander immediately begins uh, preparing to run the fuck up these cages. You want to try and get out on this side or closer to her side? No, 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 no. He's gonna use this wall to aid, uh, aim him, uh, aid him, uh, so we can oh, get a better gonna... grip on these over here, so we can just okay. run across next turn. Are we still in initiative order, Yasha? No. Oh, I would like to try. I would like to try and reach out and grab Alexander by the forearm to try and stop him. I'm also using Lay on Hands to give him health back, but I'm also trying to be like, Hey, yo, you kind of fucked up. You need to not. <laughs> you should try and evade that. Uh, we'll try and do you want that. healing? <laughs> well, uh, that sounds like a grapple in my, <laughs> in my opinion. Less of right. grapple, more of an I'm trying to grab your arm, but sure, give us mechanics. Well, it's if, if you want to hold her back, uh, it's going to need to be in. Uh, I do want to stop him from trying to hurt himself, so yes. Um, yeah, I mean, grapple is just you get the speed to zero. That could be I'm holding on to you and I'm not going anywhere. Yep. So, okay, sure. All right. 13 rolls athletics. <laughs> Uh, Alexander, Same. either athletics or acrobatics. Uh, you know, you know what I'm. Oh shit! <laughs> oh yeah, you're not going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. I, uh, I grab onto you, and the first thing that I do is lay on hands. I'm giving you the full the full five points. So, oh thank you. You get you get five health points back, but I'm also trying to tell you to stop. Like, yeah, he... <laughs> you need to stop. He gets like here. It's like, huh? what? You're what hurt. stop? You're hurt. Yeah, she's gonna die. Can I grab my bow and arrows and try to shoot through the cages to on the skeletons? You can, but I'm going to say that's at disadvantage purely because of the amount of stuff in the way. Okay, so I need to roll twice. Yep, you need to roll twice and take the lower. Sixteen plus five, twenty-one. Okay. Fourteen plus five, nineteen. Both would hit, so that's it. So I have to roll a d8. That's a d8. That is a 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus 5. What are you aiming for? Which one? One of the. There is currently the, the one, four skeletons around. The one her. closest to her. There's that I four. Can hit. Three of yeah. them are the weak, brittle ones, and one of them has a sword. The one uh, with the sword looks pretty fucked up. Yeah, I should have that one. All right, that is enough to kill that one. What are you aiming for? I'm guessing the head. Yes. 
yes, as as you shoot the arrow through, already being seared, that thing's skull like shatters mostly. You can still see some of it as its body, but not a lot, and it falls over. Okay. Alexander's gonna try to run free. I need to save her. All right, she's she's gonna let go at that point, especially when you when you yell at her. She just like yanks her hand back, like, oh shit. We can't <laughs> let uh, uh, Shikara's right. gonna be like, we can't let them die. We need to try to s stop the undead from killing more people. Uh, he's going to do dash against these cages. Do you want a uh, acrobatic check? Yep. I would also like to have. Uh <laughs> Oof, yeah. So, oh, no. so there's still... Ah, he, he forgot ah. that he, he has blood running down his leg. So when he goes to run against the, the railing, the blood on his left foot uh, makes him slip and he sort of <laughs> runs straight <laughs> runs into the cage almost. Yeah, uh, you, you try and go up. Instead, you knock yourself on your face and you get knocked prone. As the row on that one, Jesus. I have a. Oh. Does, there you go. Does anyone else do anything? Uh, how tall are the cages? Over ten feet. Dang that's it! That's why he's using the uh, the fence as aid. I will. Like, okay, the the cages the skeletons were in are a bit lower than that, but the walls are over ten feet. Um, How I'm... much? Okay. Oh, it's just like 12, walk 13 and... feet. You could get over it if you're on the cage. Yes, Memphis? I'm gonna run up, oh, walk up to cage as near to her as I can get and cast infestation on the course. Sword. That thing, thing is dead. Oh, d then. I um... killed it. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> then just one of the other ones around it. Trying uh, to be somewhat in inconspicuous, like, not really going, yeah! Uh, Just... Give me the spell, and uh, do me a sleight of hand check. Uh, spell is... this one. And... All right. Only three poison chips. And then sleight of hand. Thirteen. Oh, Gonna do... Oof! That's a... 19, Jesus Christ. 19 for a yeah. con save, and... Uh... Let me do a perception check from this guy. Yeah. Um, as not just Shikari, but also Memphis try and interfere with the fight on in the next cage, you can very clearly here are the captain shouting, Hey, no interfering at the others fight. And you can see two guards like close in, like going here to the cage walls, trying to essentially push you back. And uh one guy going up towards the cage wall. If one of them touches me, I'm casting Eldritch Blast. <laughs> They don't, but they essentially shoo you backwards. I am staying where I am. <laughs> the team is going to stand in the middle of the cage I, looking just like, I, oh my god. I tried to talk to one of the guards and be like, she's losing the fight. Is there any point in letting her die here? She is a prisoner on death row. This is the only one. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Oh, no. You either can fight or you can't, and they obviously couldn't. Uh, Alexander tries again. You try again. At this point, the skeletons would have gotten another round in. Ouch. As she does indeed also go down. No. Shit. No. <laughs> that is enough. And 18 is enough to get up on the cages. <sighs> Julia! <laughs> He's gonna try to long jump this. 
Okay, uh, that is athletics, if I'm not mistaken. Long jump. Or well, it depends, really. Um, I have a jump calculator. What am I talking about? D and D five E. Yeah. I have a jump calculator. I can figure out how far I can jump. Strength score nine. How tall am I? I am five ten. You make a long jump, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you miss it, at least 10 feet before you jump. Uh, yep. My long jump is with a running start, 9 feet horizontally. So it might be a bit of a stretch. Uh, do me a athletics check to see if you like oh, stumble essentially as you try and get the final uh, foot of distance. <laughs> 16! That is enough. You Fuck. manage to land. Not quite there, you managed to land on this one. Yeah. Um... Okay. Hold on. A second, I have a stat block from the other ones here as well. As you can hear the guards going like, Hey! Get back down there from there! You're not supposed to be in that cage. And... This time it's not the guards that move fastest. This time it is indeed the captain. As the captain He's using his constitution. <laughs> no, the captain Aww. moves to the gate and he doesn't even bother with like the small bolt, he just kicks the door in. Um you can tell a couple skeletons turn to you. But if you try and go for the captain, and he very much doesn't even pull out his weapon, he just punches both of them to the floor. You get back down there from there! As a strong captain? Yes. Uh, you said that one was going to go after me, right? Um, two of them. Two of them. Alright. Uh, yes. He's going to try to smack one of them, and kick the other, but his main goal is to get to Yulia. Alright, roll me two attacks. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That makes sense. He's jumping in the air, so... Yeah, as you're jumping and trying to hit the one skeleton, you try in a downwards motion, hit him with a quarterstaff, but uh, you very much miscalculate the distance on that first attack and your chorus stuff gets stuck in the in the snow that's fine he's he's not after them he's after Yulia. uh the second one as you go for it uh hold up i am going to make an opportunity attack as you run past the first that is a 14. misses misses okay the first the new first attack, you miss it completely, but it barely misses you. The second skeleton, you run towards it and easily bash it to the side. Roll me damage. Alright. Uh, six. Oh god, that's max. Six, <laughs> six that bludgeoning. Is, that is bludgeoning damage on a brutal skeleton, though. They are weak to that. Yeah. So that is enough, as you very much just easily kill it as well. Yeah. Uh, he ignores the skeleton behind him. He runs to Yulia to try to get her back up. As he's panicking. Uh, Julia is currently on the floor bleeding profusely. She isn't fully dead. You can still see that she's a little bit conscious, but it's not long. Yeah, no. Uh... He's going to begin compressing her wounds. You can... Uh, the captain very much approaches, and like the one skeleton that's coming after you, he just smacks it to the side. In the meantime, Julia very quietly, very weakly, grabs your hand. No, I need to focus. Says, I need to save you. Don't, don't fight it. We will see each other again. Don't you fight! Stay alive! Let me roll. Just to see how long it's... Oof. 
Um, she will grab... Are you compressing with both hands or just one? Both. She will try and grab one of your hands. Like, try and grab it close, but she doesn't have nearly enough strength to do so. Please. Fight. Don't, don't do this. You were the one that we all thought was the strongest. Don't say things like that. Come on. She smiles. And you can see her sinking back down a little bit. And she just says, You'll forget. Why does my brain fart in that moment? And she just says, you'll finish the fight, as you always have. And she plops back down. No, 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 no. Yulia, he shakes your shoulders. Yulia! Come on, don't do this! He uh, quickly uh, <laughs> takes the shirt uh, he has and just holds There's it against her wound. no reaction. And with with one arm on her wound and the other one free, he's gonna do start doing chest compressions. Unfortunately, she is gone. And as you try and go for your shirt and take away your hand, you notice something that she tried to put into your hand, but instead put it on top of your hand. Or holy symbol. The little sun with the sunstone in the middle. Which you know is also the way that she cast her spells. He... He, f he flicks it slightly. Um, and it sort of goes into his vest. Um, and he sort of tries to keep it there as he tries to focus on the wound and his chest compressions as he begins just crying and tries his best to keep his composure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, Julia. Don't, don't do this to me. He begins uttering a, a, a prayer to Lorifar. Do me a religion check. There it is. Oh. In the can I... Fuck! As you mutter the words, you can feel a little bit of response in the amulet, but it very quickly dies down. He... then just... fully just... lays his head on his chest and begins crying. The captain stands next to he let you do this like he, he stood there and just says you fought well today soldier not everyone lives he is too busy trying to give a response all right does the rest of the party do something i will as soon as she uh, goes limp the first time uh, go go to the door and it is locked but one of the guards just lets you out they see what's happening yeah and as soon as that happens just you know go, go uh, over into that door open the door himself not even waiting for there, there's himself. no door the oh yeah That's it. <laughs> um, and sort of while He's doing the chest compression. Still, stand back, respectfully, 
but he's looking at the captain, sort of. I want to say trying to assert dominant. <laughs> Just looking at him and being like, "Don't you fucking touch him! If you touch him, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, mm. <laughs> no." Come on, bro! I'll fight you. <laughs> yeah. Let him has have his moment. Let him has have his grief. It's... Oh, he did not touch him. He he waited at a distance because. Good. And what he said was the only thing he did. I'll then bash the skeleton's faces in, because uh, this was still an act of combat that he uh, barged into. When uh, Alexander is just crying, he will sort of step forward, kneel, and... Uh, be close. For now, he's not going to touch. He's just going to be there. And um, le let him, I don't know, re recite his prayers and um, cry. Maybe at some point when he's crying, just put a hand on the back. Hmm. If it's gone on for like a minute. <laughs> if no one else wants to do something. Yeah, Felix is. <laughs> Jesus. You're not playing Felix this I much. know, I know. Yeah, 13's just gonna exit the cage and stand back. She's gonna watch, but she's just gonna stand back and not get involved. Moss, Shikari, you two doing anything? I discuss um, with the guards. I'm like, we could have prevented this! They're prisoners in death sentence. They're sent out to fight. They need to be able to fight. If she hadn't died here, she would have died to the guillotine. But she could have moved out with us to fight the enemy out there. Aren't more men that tr or more soldiers that are trustworthy not better? <laughs> trustworthy? Ha! <laughs> We're not giving our gear and resources to those that can't handle it. Besides, my... the land is cursed with undeath. We have had more than one fallen soldier come back to try and attack us. Yeah, I know that this can happen. I turn my head and go away from the cage. Boss is going to like silently just walk out of the cage, but also like kind of lean to the side against the wall of the cage, just watching with his arms crossed. All right. Well, with all of that, the captain will seeing that uh, Memphis is co trying to comfort Alexander, turn around, look in the other cage, also see that that was a bloodbath and no one there survived either. Although none of those were people that you necessarily knew more than the last two days. And just say, ah, well, at least one group survived this time. And uh, start walking out towards 13. 13's just standing there watching what's going on silently. All right. He hasn't issued any orders yet to as to what's next, right? I have not. No. Good. If no one wants to talk to anyone or wants to do anything more to the situations, I would uh, proceed. Alexander. Uh, there's one thing, small detail. Um, after a while, Alexander just um, picks her up uh, and sort of holds her against him and just 
removing some hair from her face as he says a parting prayer in Celestial. Memphis will back up for, uh, back up further. It's not his place. All right, you do that. Uh, the captain and the guards are indeed waiting outside. There are a couple of guards that have by this point now entered this cage and uh, started to wrangle the skeletons back into their cages. At least. The ones that are still very much alive. Uh, one of them did, in did indeed get defeated as well over here. But the rest get put back. Is there anything like a piece of jewelry that she has? Ring, necklace? Oh, I, yeah. I was going to say, you got the necklace. You got the talisman. Or not the talisman, the holy symbol. The. Yeah. I think Katie also made part of that one? Yes, if she did. You'll that. see it next time. Yes, you will see it next time on your person, but you essentially have a little sun made of metal with a red jewel in the middle that you know to be a sunstone. Yeah, and this is one of the holy symbols of your chat. church. You can send inside chat, exactly. All the holy symbols of the Church of Lorifar and very much the way that especially clerics and also paladins channel Lorifar's magic. Right. Uh, in in his view, that is her holy symbol, but he's looking for something like something she, like, I don't know, something hers that's wholly hers. Something purely personal to her. Yeah. Um... I'm going to say she had a little, how the fuck do I say, a brooch in her hand? Yeah, brooch. Of which she uh, used to clip her hair back in order to not have her long hair just wallow around while she's in the temple. Yeah. Then as it's he... a very simple brooch, but... And as he Sorry. strokes her hair, he's going to... Unclip it and pock it in his hand. Before gently laying her down. You do that. Inside. Does everyone leave the cages? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. This will just quietly say to him, like, you fought your best, or you did your best. It's sometimes all we can do. Just yeah. uh, leave a hand on his back. He nods. Like, almost inviting to hug, but if not, this chill. Yeah, no, he just grabs, uh, holds your forearm of his other arm with his other other hand and then walks out all right as everyone leaves the cages you get yourself faced with the captain and his right hand once again this time not on a stage this time on equal eye line and the captain will no change in emotions this does not bother him at all just say all right well done soldiers and 13 for you this is the first time he's called you soldier <laughs> mm -hmm. um you survived the first fight you have proven yourself to be uh, at least somewhat capable Quartermaster over here will give you your gear. And before the sun starts going down, one small carriage will get you uh, a little bit out of the mountains. From there on out, you're on your own. And he will gesture to the quartermaster who comes over 
and the captain turns around and starts moving towards the courtyard, unless anyone says anything. As 13 just responds with, yes, sir. All right. I will take silence as no one says anything. And the quartermaster moves forward. All right. Follow me. I'll get you geared up and we'll get you ready to go. And 13 will follow. With that, I would be ending today's session. Yay! Yay! Clap, 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 clap. Drama. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Well done. With great drama. Whoop! Yeah. Oh Nearly God. just dropped Hell my glass. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Someone died. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Somebody yep. died. It was Alexander inside <laughs> his heart. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Alexander. I'm sorry. Alright, <laughs> Dang. Alright. Holy crap. I, I did not expect someone to die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> you survived I your first it. combat. Way! I called it. Way. <laughs> Where's my 20 bucks? <laughs> I'll also say it now. You will level up after this one. Yay, Woo we're finally level two. It took so long. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. I have questions. <laughs> we just started. <laughs> oh, it took years I, to level up. Yeah, I mean, there was a bar fight. So, <laughs> I guess <laughs> we deserve it. <laughs> yeah, the the first right. few levels go very quickly. Yeah. So I can do level two here. Yeah. Yes. You All right, well. Up. We'll handle that one off stream, though. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, yeah. thank you guys sure. so much for showing up. Uh, yeah. Does anyone have anything they want to say to the people? Okay. Just... Thank you for coming. Awesome. Uh, thank and... you all for coming out. Thank you to the players for playing. And uh, thank you. We will see you all next week, same time. Hell yeah! <laughs> Let's do Enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine. One of, us, one of us will not be here for that. Yeah, session. sorry. Our wow. concert on... thrower and music person. I am on songwriting duty with my band. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Don't um, worry, we'll, we, we, we'll make sure we your body this, doesn't like... die. Yeah. For that session, I will yeah. take control of, of his character. But... Way! Someone nice. good finally plays with Shikari. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're good. Alright, well, with that, thank you guys so much for coming to the premiere of the Reclamation. We will be back at the same time next week. 6 p.m. Central European time. I don't know what time that is in American. Convert it yourself. We will see you all <laughs> next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.